this is true. Now it's <laughs> unmuted, so that's what it looks like now. Let me, I'll just transition immediately oh. so people can see. There's like new, new uh, OBS update. I don't know. They said wow. something like it gives you. I think now you get surround sound, so maybe that's what that's representing. Can you mm. roll back the update so we see the difference? <laughs> yeah, let's do that on stream. <laughs> and then watch it, download it too. I want to watch the whole update thing. process. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? You might want to put the mic volume down because you're clipping <laughs> Am I? loudly. No. No, it's fine. Let's all talk very quietly so we don't clip the mic. <laughs> right, well, I won't right touch right it, I promise. We just adjust the gain and we call it a day. Yeah, look at that. It's not, it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they can turn the volume down on right. their side. Are we on the internet? Truly, this is the most yeah. compelling experience watching the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adjusting Dreaming the volume. <laughs> or, this is also what they're seeing, too. That's the best part. <laughs> it's like Here's a, a, next three hours, we just. Is slowly. that a game jam theme in there? Like yeah. the volume bar, volume slider? Um, <laughs> That'd be interesting. Rock and roll it. Isn't KK Slider the guy from Animal Crossing? Um, <laughs> the dog guy. Plays the I haven't guy. remembered all of the people from Animal Crossing. Crossing. Hmm? So, uh, do we have our moderators taking a look at the sh uh, chat so far? Oh, yeah, why is the, um, Nobody seems to be chatting yet. All right. Oh, no, that's Chris. a surprise. Uncle Phil is there. Was it Twitch TV? It's mm -hmm. Twitch. Tech Valley? Mm -hmm. Gamespace? Yes. If you go on Discord at some point, it should pop up. Yep, there it is. I'm also supposed to be responsible for tweeting, but uh, I'm eating right now. No, you're not. <laughs> tweeting tweets went out. Yeah. We're good. All right. So I we should actually watch off, off my screen. It's up no, there too. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look up there. It's all well, yeah, I'll tilt it for you so you can see. Um, uh, you, you can't do use water because uh, let me let me. Transition yeah. back. <laughs> Wait, <it's laughs> house tonight. Yeah, we got so many people, we get off track right away, which is fine. That's mm -hmm. cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is us five minutes in. <laughs> uh, so this is, uh, this is Build a Game. Um, if you were not, so this is like, I guess, um, this is TVGS. I am John. Um, and we can introduce everyone after I do a little spiel. Um, so we so we were trying this thing, uh, I guess, last stream. We didn't have a stream last week. Two weeks ago, we streamed uh, Build a Game, which was this. Uh, basically, I was working on Unreal Engine. People gave me suggestions, and I tried my best to implement uh, their suggestions into the game. Um, so we're going to try it. It went pretty well, I think. Um, everyone else seemed to have a good time, so we're going to do that again and continue that. Um, we're doing things, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play things a little bit by ear, because like, I think it may be a mixture, like if we get new suggestions, I'll probably incorporate those, because there's a lot of stuff we didn't get to last time, um, but I may just kind of like roll over a little bit of things and maybe just use some more as inspiration. There's like, I, I, so basically like the only goal we have is to have a functioning game that you can play through an entire level um, with like gameplay that isn't broken. Um, or I guess, I guess the game should be functional. It's gonna be broken, chaotic. There's like no sense of, there's no design sensibility or aesthetic <laughs> or <laughs> no, no consistency at all. It's just this hodgepodge of ideas. Um, so it'll be pretty fun. Um, so I mean, I think like, uh, probably do this for like a couple streams and I mean, the main long-term goal I guess is like rotate out developers. So like I'll probably do this a few more streams and then we get a game in a good condition put it out on Ichio and uh, switch to a different developer, but we'll kind of figure that out as we get further into this game. Um, so let me transition. Um, okay, so what was the command to put the suggestions in again? That is a good exclamation point suggestions, suggest. I think. Um, yeah, I think yes. it's, if you look on the um, lower left hand side suggest. of the stream itself. Yeah, it should be there now. It is. So, so I got this like small list here. Um, 
I guess let's actually go over what we did last time. <laughs> Immediately bionicle. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice recap. <laughs> so what we have in the game so far is we have this bionicle. <laughs> um, we're able to shoot dust balls and chinchillas that explode that fall from the sky. <laughs> Every, we, we have a floating rock. That's true. This floating rock here. It's doing nothing yet. <laughs> um might turn that actually turn the audio down on my computer. Make friends for the rat. How does the shooting sound sound like on stream? I don't know. Uh, I guess that would be over to taco, I guess. <laughs> Are you hearing any shooting? I don't think it I think he said he had us on mute before, so maybe we're still back on mute. No, I can hear. I can hear. I just can't hear. I, I don't. There's no shooting sounds to listen to just yet. Right. I'm just concerned about um, whether it's too loud or not, because that was a problem that we had last time with our lesson night on uh, Unreal. Right. So I think it sounds not too loud. Yeah, okay. I think it'll be fine. Because I, I have the audio settings low for my computer, and I just turned down my computer. So. All right. Taco says he can hear it. Mm -hmm. right. So that means we gotta make it louder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta really shoot that dust. <laughs> so I guess So yeah, what do we what do we have right now? We just have this um we have this chinchilla. There was a I th so I think one of the things I wanted to try and work on this time, at the very least, is having like a, a chinchilla like meteorite spawner, where we just place like an a object in the sky and it'll just like rain chinchillas down periodically. Chinchilla cannon. Chinchilla cannon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Remember that we need to kill. Uh, not kill. We need to uh, clean up those chinchillas. <laughs> That's true. I think the term you're looking for is dispose. Why, are they using too much profanity? <laughs> you are not. Please do not provide yeah. profanity through the stream. <laughs> I meant the, the chinchillas. It's say you got to clean them up. You got to clean up their act, huh? Yeah, they, they just need to clean their room. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> they're, they're very cute dust baths. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. I know what you mean. I, you mean exactly what you said. If you haven't watched our, our stream from last time, Really should. We've got some. Kind of we do want to stream the video of uh, yeah. <laughs> of chinchillas getting dust baths. It makes it's us sad. Adorable. I still know the exact amount of dust it takes to clean a chinchilla. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You want to give us a reminder? One point five pounds of dust. One point five pounds. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so where we can use that? One point five is some kind of magic That's number. That's actually for the game. really a lot, given how many times you've had to give them a dust bath. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. What do they say? Like once every two or three days? Something like How do they that. survive on their own? They need a dust bath every two or three days. You live in an area with dust. You live in the desert. Yeah. So it's like I hear this dust there. Mm -hmm. What was yeah. it, chili? Yeah, it's <laughs> chili. That's, that's your. <laughs> no, it's hot. <laughs> it's a desert. <laughs> well, deserts aren't necessarily hot. It's a more a matter of rainfall than than. Uh, most. Well, would it be in the tundra if it was a if it was a cold? Well, uh, cold I think, desert. I think it's just a matter of. Yeah, that's probably true. It's probably like the tundra if it's a cold desert. But no, I was just making a wordplay joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Taking things literally, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I do tend to do that. <laughs> this is good because uh, I'm sure John needs to concentrate. <laughs> is that, oh, so work, are you working on the meteor right now? Or the 1.5 pounds of dust coating the whole stage? This is okay, just make every shot count as 1.5 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so then when you hit them, you just need one shot. Do you know like shoots a bag that says 1.5 pounds on it, and then it hits them and the bag explodes? <laughs> Perfect. Well, you could change the particle. Uh, I could. <laughs> you could change the I mean, look at this object. alien technology, this Unreal Node stuff. <laughs> Unreal. What is that? Programming requires too much effort for you. <laughs> 
Honestly, some of that stuff is more complicated than just coding it would be. Is there a way I can make like a, can make a cube? Mm -hmm. I guess the cube. What is this technical desert versus collectial? <laughs> That's a very big cube. It's a very big What's a collectial? Well, now it's more of a reason. <laughs> hmm. It's trying to make like a. Actually, well, actually, for right now, let's delete that. Can I just add text or something? I'm sure you can. Yeah, probably expose it. Text render, enough. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can shoot, shoot. Ariel. Oh man, that'd be a bad game idea. You know, what? push buttons on the keyboard and shoot just letters at things. That's not too that, bad. It's a little complicated for right now, but that eh, maybe. Honestly. I don't know. Well, mm. For the import key code T, shoot T. Import <laughs> key yeah. code S, shoot S. <laughs> actually genuinely curious, can I like wrap this around the I think oh. you need to use it as like a uh, Instead of instead of as an object, you need to make it a uh, like material that goes oh over the sphere if you want to wrap it. Yeah, probably. Let me see. The second best part about using Unreal is googling how to do things in Unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, if you don't know how to do something when making a game, it's okay to look it up. <laughs> it is okay Eight to ninety percent of all <laughs> programming is looking it up. Mm. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. Yeah, I agree with that. I think the most important part is probably the critical thinking and figuring out like, the logic of everything. I mean, usually you, you figure together. something out pretty quickly, and then you just spend most of your time trying to do, actually do a thing. Yeah, trying to implement, figure out exactly the right way to implement the thing in the particular way. Wait, wait, I got it. Okay, cool. Oh, he's got it. Uh, oh, well, kind of. Uh, I can I can adjust this a little. Find that transform. So here you're making the eyeball for the rat. Oh, this is the this is the uh, particle. So I'm trying to make the bag of. Oh, <laughs> you ran with the bag idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how it works, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that's kind of bag shape, I guess. I feel like it needs like a cone on top so that it like looks like the open part of it. You know how like when you tie a, like when you take a bag and tie it, yeah. it's got like a part. Oh man, <laughs> this could come with like crazy technical <laughs> mechanics of the bag. Like you have to open it a little bit because you just throw it at them, then it just hits them and doesn't explode. But you gotta open it a certain amount. So it's We're professionals here at TVGX. <laughs> Does Unreal support soft bodies? Hmm. Does Unreal support soft bodies? I don't know. I don't know. How, do, how can I check? Maybe look that up for me. <laughs> do a nice Google. Does Unreal support soft bodies? So, like, uh, I guess we're moving away from the hugging the chinchilla thing from last time. Huh? Maybe we should go back to that. Yeah. I think the scary part was the animations of that. <laughs> well, abstract hug. Huh? <laughs> it says you could apply a spring joint. So, like, how can I, <laughs> kinda? It looks like you, you remember in like the mid-2000s, there was that Flash game where there was that sphere thing that like you could beat up and like, you get Oh, guns. yeah. It looks like you just made that. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> Someone brought that up during Global Game Jam, I think. Well, because it's What's a very that? obvious the, the, gray blob option. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Newgrounds game where you just like had a gray blob stick person and you just shot him and <laughs> chainsawed him. This does not edit things well. Okay. Um. Oh, we're already getting some commentary from the chat telling us to Google it. Mm. What are we Googling? Um, um. Probably the soft bodies thing, right? Are you getting comments on the chat? No, Taco. Oh, why am I not seeing any comments? Are you not seeing Taco? Tacos, he says Google it. Oh, that's weird. I just. <laughs> It says welcome to the chat room. That's it for me. I will try oh. refreshing to see what happens. What is happening? That's weird. I can't really mod the chat if I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that meme icon, right? With that one guy. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it's from. But. Uh, what happened to my... There we go. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, the the reading rainbow guy. The bar bird. Is that what he is? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Is that or is that one? Forge? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to uh, Google it. I know what we're talking about. I just know the, I just know the meme. I never know. I rarely know the characters that... <laughs> and why they took off from the meme. But. I think if people knew how to... Uh, well, there's a wiki for memes that tell about their origins and stuff like that. Yeah, but if you could just like take, if you could just make a meme and uh, just like know how to make a meme happen, then like, well, oh. you do that and make a ton of money. Well, you do you do think people who make memes make money? No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, kind of a losing venture. If I if I could, if I if I had the magical way of like making memes popular, then I could just go to a company and say, hey, I'll make your company a meme and then you'll make it. You'll get more awareness and stuff. People sure. Do it. They look for people like that. People that make things go viral. If you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy's did it. Yeah, I Wendy's mean, looked for viral people? No, they got their Twitter account. They just did a thing where they basically made their Twitter account be very obnoxious towards people. And people found it funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, so John, so would you describe nice. what you're trying? Yeah, I see you got the text and you're putting it in the object. I, I think you're still trying to put it around the object. Right? Trying to get it as close as I can. <laughs> it's hard to put a flat object yeah. around I mean, something. Can't you like do a deformation in the middle so that like has like a spherical bounding instead of a flat? Um, I don't think so. It's like a sphere. It object. doesn't have a projection onto the. That's annoying. I don't know. There's probably a better way to do this, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not smart in the ways. Of oh, we go open a blender. <laughs> <laughs> blender yeah. is a nuclear. We option. could use this, the ZBrush I mean, tool. I guess maybe just make the text thing long and nested inside, but yeah. either that or like individual letters. I mean, this is a game gem right here. <laughs> well, why don't we just make three different game objects? One that's a one, one that's a zero, and then put them on top of the. Yes. The other thing. Why even make a text True. if we're just doing or one point yeah. five, right? Oh you yes. just need a So wait, so one point five pounds, right? Yes. Five. And too bad we can't find that um I don't know how to draw that pound for currency. Whatever the, those the, silly English people use yeah. instead of uh, wow. the LBS or something. <clears throat> You've just alienated an entire country from our stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we probably did that with that war a couple hundred years ago, huh? I don't think uh, Twitch was invented yet, then. <laughs> you don't think the whole grudge I'm pretty sure that goes from at the beginning. Oh, you found it. How'd you find it so quick? I just Googled. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we live oh, in the future. Oh, my lord. So but can you turn that into a game object? So that is... Let's see how this looks. I could not Doesn't possibly tell you that that looked any different. I don't think we'll ever see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save. I think maybe it's facing the wrong way. Now, are you shooting the dust projectile or the dust cloud BP? Dust cloud is... That's, that's a good point. No, that's just like the particle. Yeah, it is. Uh, so what is... Dust projectile. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. It just went tiny. <laughs> unreal, everybody. So realistic. You know what they call unreal? It's unreal that this is the state of the industry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just. I've never heard that joke. Okay. So that was new to me. That's but, nice. Uh, I mean, you can see it if it's facing you. Yeah. I don't know why it's... I'm going and to if it's like a sack, you can make it a little bigger. And it, then we could somehow make it slower. It's like you're hefting it. Mm. Uh, I'm just complicating everything for John there. Maybe <laughs> we could change some things a little. I mean, like I can make it a... Actually, I have no idea how to make it slower or not. Are people um, chatting in the chat? Are people chatting? Or? Not that I see. Oh, okay. That's... that's Oh, yeah, good. Just, Somebody's I chat. I, I saw a chat. Okay, so you're Somebody's just checking? Chatting. Yeah, it seems to be. It seems to be working. I mean, I think you're fine. This is three. I think I know who the three are. Mm. Yeah. Is one of them you? One of them. But that leaves two unknowns. Is that Frederick? Actually, he's one unknown. I'm. Oh, if there's an effigy thirteen, it's me. Is Tom? Oh yeah, there is. On you took um. You said hello. You didn't see your hello? No, I, I, actually I didn't. 
Taco says he might be one. Yes. I have my uh, doubts, but he <laughs> might want to. Shout out to moderator Taco Pill. <laughs> Homie for life. Okay. I don't know. This is suggestions. <clears throat> Let's get back. Uh, do I have a suggestion over there? Taco Pill no, suggests different suggestion. varieties of weapons, larger projectiles, sprays, streams. I do kind of know how to do like a, a Ghostbuster laser stream. Hmm. Can we get the pew noises? Ghostbuster. Oh noises. man, you should do all the sound effects as like just <laughs> have, to have us do the sound effects. Oh, we can make those sound effects. I like it. <laughs> there's like a there's like a Half Life Two mod where someone. Oh, took, that's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Someone <laughs> took every single sound effect and just recorded them. So like saying it. So it was like so like a, a a car noise was like and then, and then shooting. Well, they, did, like, they did a really good job on the noises for the Man X. Somebody did that for um, the Global Game Jam. One of the Global, Global Game Jam games. I know the one Amanda worked on. Oh. I think it was actually Amanda Lavin who did it. Hey, speaking of TVGS yeah. streaming throwback, uh, did you see it? there was an Avernum collection released? <laughs> like really? Three days ago. <laughs> of what? Like all of them? Or? They did like a remaster or something of like the first three years. Oh, oh yeah, they've been working through and remastering them. I never. The song Rock, Paper, Shotgun it was very surprising. It's like, hey. Yep. Nephron Hunter. Nephron Hunter. Nephron. She's my sister. <laughs> mm. ah. That's how it's, there's not enough in there though. Nephrons are a, a, a kidney cell. <laughs> she studies them. She's a. She's well, it sounds like she kills them. <laughs> a kidney cell. Yeah, it's one of the cells in the kidney. I, you'd have to ask her. <laughs> Is it a good one? A bad one? Uh, uh, one that she studies. <laughs> Uh, I, I think it it's one that that's it's uh, it's one that's uh, yeah. I think it's useful, and uh, but it also gets affected by by drugs. Wow, well, so, bad yeah. things are useful too, right? They show us who the good things are. <laughs> <laughs> very, very positive attitude. I like it. <laughs> it's like wholesome right here. Well, yeah. I mean. Be <laughs> making blueprints in Unreal, how could you not be wholesome? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking if somebody looks at that screen for the first time, that's pretty daunting. How many windows is that? One, two, three. You just gotta like you know five. take it one step at a time. Yeah, but see so you say that, I look at the screen. Where's the first step? The middle. <laughs> <laughs> if you that's the first part. Where's the first step? I mean, if you're a programmer, you know, the middle is where your editor is, and the left and right side are like ancillary stuff that you can figure out later. Yeah. We can't really do anything in the middle, right? Like, well, the middle is where you put all the stuff, and the, like... The yeah, but like, you couldn't do anything. Like, you can click on the middle all you want, something happens, right? But yeah, that's where all the, all the ancillary stuff... Oh, I absolutely no idea how to use Twitch. I thought my Twitch account was my Amazon account. <clears throat> is it not? Are those <clears throat> I know Amazon owns it, but that's that. Uh-oh, we got chat complaining about ads. So who's running all the ads to make the money? <laughs> ads. I got. I actually had to reload, and then I got an ad, and then I was able to see the chat. So... Mm -hmm. They might have changed something about how they You're not a Twitch ads. Prime supporter of TVGS? It, it, is there money from Twitch going to I, TVGS? I don't, I, know. I don't think we're, we're in that program. Because they, they, they be running ads on it then? I don't know. That's, Those that's not videos. the first time I've, I've seen an watch ad. Watch your language. <laughs> I've, uh, I just assume I've they run ads, ads on everything, them. but you know. I mean, no. I, I have ad block, and yeah. I think it got through the ad block. So interesting. So I think it somehow it was interfering. So that's why I couldn't see the chat. Yeah, I used to use ad block a lot on Twitch with the early days because they couldn't control their volume control on their oh. on their ads, so they would just be blasting so loud. So it's mm -hmm. like, come on now. It took them a long time to even realize and fix it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I don't like the ads because you you get ads that are like well. 
like download stuff and malware and stuff like that. So I'm, all, I'm like, yeah. no ads. <laughs> Unless I really like the site and I'm like, want to support it, then, then I'll do it. But yeah. in general. I'm with that. I think most Twitch people get their money through donations, anyways, than the ads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Twitch makes most of the money maybe through the ads, so that's fine. Just get it donated to the person actually making the stuff. So Sam, Sam uh, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the Twitch chat doesn't like it when you use emoji in your chats. Weird. What did it do? What, like people were yelling or about you? <laughs> no, no I, put some, I put some emojis. So I was like, this is, I, I like emoji. So I, I like think they have their own store of emojis you can't use. So I can't use regular, what? Oh, you this? Wow. No, you see that. Like, people, <laughs> streamers have to, like, they have a certain amount of emojis they're allowed to have. Oh, yeah. So that's how that works. So you can make your own emojis too, right? So you can show off your loyalty to the streamer because then you can use that emoji wherever you want on Twitch. It's their bitmojis, right? Um, no, that's Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, but it's That's Twitch's version of cool. Bitmojis, right? Everybody's got their... Where'd you get that 3D model? Hmm. Well, looks like it's time for us to take it. Uh, yeah, my, you know what, let's do it. It's, it's just... Oh no, you didn't do the nuclear option, did you? Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> It has come to this. So it, it's. I think what's happening is the because I I'm just added like a bunch of meshes uh, to this, but I think like because it's a, actually wait. Uh, let's see if there's like actual uh, projectile. Like because I think it may just only be looking at the sphere and not looking at uh, anything else. Well, what happens if I put that on top? Does the sphere come out with the blue arrow forward? Does it come out what? How does it come out when it gets shot? Like, it's just like a regular sphere, like it was. But that's because... Well, I mean, no orientation. Oh, you mean it's not even... Yeah, like, it, it looks like it's just like, the, you know, as we left it, um, or as it started, so we save. Because, like, in the game world, like, it should be looking like this. Oh. So, but it's it's looking, uh, actually, let's make it a lot smaller. Check that out. Unless that is not the... I just change the oh, color. Oh, see, there's text on it. Yeah, but that was one I like placed in the game world. Oh. So that's that's why. Oh, interesting. I'm, so it's not it's not even shooting those versions. I'll try maybe changing the color of the initial sphere just to see whether it yeah. actually shows on the thing. <laughs> Apparently, three is too many emoji <laughs> for it to like. <laughs> oh, Taco Bell. Oh, he's exempt. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. Taco Bell is. <laughs> The emojis. <laughs> All right, the emoji uprisings happening in the chat there. <laughs> Object to these uh, clearly outdated and antiquated laws on emojis. <laughs> 2018. If you're using less than a half dozen emoji to express yourself, you're not really expressing yourself. <laughs> it should be quite the opposite. If you more write more than three words, you should be blocked. You should, should only, you should exactly. only be like, there's like hundreds of emoji now. Yeah, and there's, there's only like hundreds of thousands of words. <laughs> but you don't need to know the words, like you just need to know emoji, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> the Egyptians got away with it, it should be good enough for us. Wow. <laughs> Those were emojis. <laughs> basically emojis. <laughs> Well, maybe we should go there. <laughs> Important questions for Google. Are there more hieroglyphics or emoji? Definitely more hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> so the Rosetta Stone, there's a 
Ricky Test. Huh? Like this. <laughs> Shadow. Yeah, he's the way he's sitting on the ball. Is he just sitting on the ball to stay up? I wrote glyph things. I guess Google's, Google's smart enough to know that what I mean. The H I R H Y R. It's a good thing Google could figure out what we're all trying to figure out and learn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nefron yeah, Hunter. I, can't. I don't it's even know how to use the emojis on this Twitch chat thing. So I can't help you with your science. <laughs> I think I'm, I think the problem is Twitch wants you to use Twitch things, and I was just using regular emoji, mm -hmm. which clearly are <laughs> like that hockey puck that flew across the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's for whatever reason the the it's shooting um, the old version of the projectile, which I think is still existing in the project. So I think mm -hmm. that might be what's up. <clears throat> That's well, good that we might not have to use Blender. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be the end of the world if we use Blender. But we've already opened it, so oh, it'll we've be stepped the into end the, of the world. world. We'll be pretty close. Yeah, well, we're according to Google, there are over 2,000 hieroglyphics, and there are 722 emoji in <laughs> the uh, Unicode 6 character set. So we're not quite there yet. But 250 were just added in Unicode 7, so at this rate, in about two or three years, we'll supersede the ancient Egyptians and truly become the masters of the pictogram. <laughs> Is that counting Twitch emojis? No. Oh, I don't know. I don't think Twitch emojis. I, I refuse to acknowledge the sovereignty of Twitch emojis. <laughs> If you're truly going to refuse them being emoji, you have to find different words. What does that mean? Emotes? Oh, I didn't, I, I, I'm not saying they're not emoji, I just said I'm refusing their sovereignty, so I don't think they're. Huh. Parentheses. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, how'd you, how'd you fix it? I missed uh, it. So I just deleted the reference to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the nuclear option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just delete it. <laughs> I, it's it's such a like neat effect. I just like skid. I guess now yeah, that's a can we answer. turn it what <laughs> ninety degrees upwards so you can see the one point five. Oh, you got corrected there. You needed to use the symbol. I got banned for so you got, still banned, Did you use the actual oh, you got the colon symbol? I, got the <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to be taking oh, you straight. No. <laughs> there straight you are. <laughs> I, I tend to do that. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can have a lot of fun with that, with the fact that I do that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm kind of sometimes pretty clueless. <laughs> well, thank you. Now I have it. Uh, but that's only one, so I just got to do like three of them in a row. Nope, that didn't <laughs> bounce really well. Yeah. So now there's like a little bit of... Yeah, uh, did work. Life spans a little bit longer, so you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> It'll still explode. <laughs> no, that's cool. I think like we need a dispenser for these. Like right now, they're just appearing. Yeah. I need to figure out. Uh, well, in every game, it's just appearing. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, a dis dispenser doesn't really exist. Dispensers. Hang on, we deleted the gun. <laughs> what? The when we first loaded this, there was like a gun that shot them. Yeah, but does the gun really exist? <laughs> Is it really coming out of the gun? That's the I question. Mean, I mean, more, the gun got deleted. <laughs> it's just an illusion. <laughs> we've All we've done is remove the illusion. This is some intense so this is actually philosophy from more the reality than if we would have put the gun in there. So you're saying it's hyper real? We're getting there, yeah. <laughs> okay, but if the gun doesn't exist, does the projectile exist? Uh, no. <laughs> so if we don't need the gun and we don't need the projectile, then uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the game now is to get, we have to get the player to question do these things exist. So we got to put them in a room, tell them there's a gun, and there's no gun. <laughs> 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 mm. 
Oh man, only three more minutes until I can participate in the chat again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun. Yeah, once what you get out of time do? out, right? <laughs> I, uh, I dare, I dare to question the iron grip on emoji that Twitch holds on their platform. What did you do? I do like I, how we sent three emojis. <laughs> the John was like, "I'm gonna do introductions," and then totally skipped all the introductions. Yeah. <laughs> so the next hour, it's like it. whatever. Yo. Yeah, let's do the introductions right now. Yeah. Yeah. Still, it's about the best time to do the introductions, the right? In the middle so of the we have of the course. emoji master. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of like this uh, saying I heard, where the best time to plant a tree was ten years ago, and the second best time is right now. <laughs> it's one of those philosophical sayings. Mm -hmm. When people say all the time, I should have done something. Rufus, would you like to start? Sure. I'm a coding student who's just kind of here to see what's happening. <laughs> yes, but what's your um, name? Named Rufus. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm Frederica, Effigy13 on the, on the chat, and also uh, on itch.io. Hey, hey, Anthony. Uh, um, Anthony? <laughs> or, oh, sorry, I cut you off. No, I'm good. You wanna, we're doing int introductions right in the middle of the stream. Yeah, you walked right into it. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm Anthony. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, hi, I'm Greg. The GWL English in the chat, too. Yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Taro Mia. Uh, last stream, I was eating. This stream, I was also eating, but I'm also writing a presentation at the same time. Uh, but anyways, you'll find me at Omiya Games on Twitter. Uh, you'll also find me at OmiyaGames.com, which I have not updated in a couple of months. <laughs> so I should probably fix that. Uh, we did get a new game out, so better, better put some new screenshots there. Uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, you'll see me often on Ludum Dare as uh, Omiya Games. Uh, I did make a, I did make a winning game on uh, the uh, 37th Ludum Dare, so yay. I apologize. I this is this is interesting. <laughs> a black box. Oh whoa! What was that? Whoa! <laughs> that, whoa. Was, was is, this, is this a cannon for? Um... It's supposed to be a, uh, a, a. I was gonna have a pellet dispenser, and a dust bag dispenser, um, but I think this is still a projectile, so it just launched itself off of the object <laughs> <laughs> instead of just being like a little thing there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so let's put that back. I thought we were gonna have rainy chinchillas. I mean, there's yeah. one rainy chinchilla. <laughs> that's not raining. <laughs> so like five what? tenths of a sprinkle. <laughs> no, a raining chinchilla is one that has a crown on top of its head. Oh! <laughs> Man, not only am I banned from chat, but I'm banned from introductions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. To provide your introduction. I think I'm still banned. <laughs> uh, I'm Samson. Uh, very often in TVGS affairs for no reason other than uh, I was in the building for some other reason at the time. Um, I'm Samson Nosmas on Twitter and uh, Twitch. And anything else that begins with a T that I can think of at this time? No. Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr. I don't have a Tumblr. Should I get a Tumblr oh, so that I can have that on more T sites? <laughs> Otherwise, you can't use that saying anymore. I'm saying I'm everything with T. And I'm back on the chat, so hey. <laughs> well, what about what about the Facebook? Would that come as a team? I, I'm not, not Samson Nosmas on the Facebook, unfortunately. I, I'm not a big uh, the Facebooker. Yeah. As it were. What is yeah. the proper verbiage of Facebook? Of the Facebooking? Are you Facebook the Facebook? Or? Post. Did you did you, did you post on make Facebook? a make a message on the the Facebooks? <laughs> I visited I visited all you Facebooks. All your Facebooks. <laughs> well, I don't know. What would you say for Instagram? I put I, I grammed. I insta. Probably. Uh, I went to. I went you to remind me very much of a very very bad joke. Which does a hipster way. Uh, Doesn't matter. An Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'll be here all week. It would be. <laughs> Uh, chat, what will you rate that joke of his? One through ten. <laughs> it was a 
was better than what Greg thought. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll aspire to lower standards. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you shoot your standards low, right, you'll never disappoint, or you'll never be disappointed. Is that it? That's, yeah. There you go. So it's like living in constant delight. <laughs> Aren't we lucky that there's no like actual people who work on any search algorithm? Like they're all it's all algorithmic and AIs. Because otherwise, like you'd have to worry about someone might be judging you for like what you're searching for. It's like this person spent six hours searching for Unreal Engine XXX. <laughs> like, uh, what? Uh, alternate <laughs> alternate reality where they knew meant, uh, never there's, move past operators. So it's like every time you type it in, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you type it in, and someone in real life actually has to connect you to the right web page. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a similar joke, which is just, for every person, there's an FBI agent monitoring them. Yeah. One for every one of us. <laughs> I've heard that as well. How does that work population-wise? They're just outsourcing to China. We can't be and then he's watching them, because they're them. also citizens, right? So it's like a weird spiral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to, who, who watches the Watchmen? Ah, uh, yeah, I was trying to avoid that saying. <laughs> I don't know why. I watched okay The Watchmen. Saying. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, of that particular adaptation. It was good. Why, uh, was the, uh, Do you have a, a favorite adaptation of yours? I think, the, I think the, the original comics were very good. Are they comics or graphic novels? novels. Yeah. 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 Well, we could sit here and ponder the difference between comics and graphic novels if you'd like. There isn't. There isn't and the philosoph well, and we're done. The <laughs> they were calling them graphic novels because they want, you know, people th thought comics were for kids. Yeah. They have a point. It's a way to mature the medium, I guess, in these. Uh, it's kind of like, um... It's not a comic book, it's a manga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, there's God. also that anime and cartoon thing, You get a right? layer deeper, it's what you call Chinese, Chinese manga. There's sort of a difference between... Oh, no. That's a cultural difference, yeah. And yeah, H-W-A. Yeah. It goes too deep. Manwa? Yep. Yeah, that's what they call it in South Korea as well. It's an interesting um, discussion on the power of well, one single word, though. By changing that one word, you could change where it "quote unquote" belongs. Are you telling us you're act we are actually in Ursula Le Guin's universe? I've heard that name before. She wrote the uh, Wizard of Earth Sea. I haven't heard that one before. Oh, I see. Uh, the entire <laughs> premise, the entire universe of Wizard of Earth Sea, is that everything has a name, and if the way you cast magic is by changing the name of an object. Oh, well, I kind of like that. Yeah. In a so, lot of ways, that's true. I mean, just wait, look at Ghibli current, make a movie for that? Oh, current Did Ghibli politics. make a movie for that? Yes. I saw that when I was very young. It was a young. bad movie from what I heard. That's unfortunate. I was too young to care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, movie pictures. Maybe. Man, I need another one. What happened? This is good because we keep our snacks in the most loud, like, dispensing forms. Like, exactly. I mean, look at listen to this. How would, how would anyone, how would anyone know that we we're eating snacks if they didn't make noises? <laughs> we have to announce it. We're not eating snacks. We're just crumpling bags. <laughs> <laughs> we're making Don't it sound. Don't tell them that. <laughs> yeah, we want them to come down here. There's no video. Video. I actually so. want some snacks, but we just got people that are crumpling bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <getting> hungry. <laughs> we were trying to uh, pop Pringles, just like in the commercials. It just sounds like this. <laughs> that was actually pretty impressive. I was not expecting you to get that much of a noise. Ah, you did. Good job, Rufus. Uh, Rufus, excuse me. The only thing I can do is I can pretend to rip paper. That's the only noise I can make. Man, it didn't occur to me, but Oreos are really sweet. Like, oh, yeah. 90% like sugar. Oh, yeah. I knew that. I wasn't thinking. I grabbed one. I was like, this would be nice. And I'm like, God, this is sugar. <laughs> I haven't seen those posts yet. I'm gonna look for it though. Let me respond into the chat. This stream really could be renamed John Does Unity Stuff and Everyone Else Just. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm really I'm fine with I this. like that sun you made. That was really good. This, yeah, the that sun. Was really good. Way up there? That looks really nice. Yeah. It's almost. Oh, thank you. For <laughs> 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 it's glowing. Oh, God. 
I don't think it was. It was it they like just came out of the sun, like they're just sun chinchillas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe because like, then, so then it gets like um, an eclipse happens when you know the chinchillas are gonna come down. It gets dark, <laughs> and then you know they're all gonna come down, right? And then it gets bright again. Oh, that's that's oh, a maybe, good, good way to. Yeah. Maybe like when it's sunlight out there. Well, what does our suggestions say? Uh, well, suggestions can come from anywhere. I can't see the suggestions. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the suggestions. Uh, nope. I tried to make Nothing. a suggestion, but I got banned from chat. <laughs> <laughs> Does the Bionicle count as a friend for the rat? Yeah, it's a friend. <laughs> Bionicle's a friend of all creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that so? What about when they went rogue? Don't they constantly fight against each other? <laughs> That's true. They're friend to all creatures except other Bionicles. <laughs> <laughs> is your lighting source like, right there? Is that your lighting source right there? What, here? Yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think this is a... This is a sun. It's like whatever it's called. It's like a, pro it's like a projection. It's not like... Uh, it's not like Can we light, have light. the sun slowly moving? <laughs> Yeah, I want some real sun lighting in here. This yeah. is unreal. Come on. <laughs> we gotta have use <laughs> unreal. <laughs> we gotta have a light and day cycle. Oh man, I was so stoked when I figured out how to do that in Unity. Like when I was first doing oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's you, so simple, I, right? I, but I was like, whoa. I got like really... I was like showing someone how to uh, do... Like manipulate light stuff in Unity. And like it was like between Unity... In the Unity 4, they didn't have it, so like it actually had day night sort of thing going on. Okay. So like when I was showing them how to like actually uh, change the lighting, it suddenly went dark. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> it's like, oh my god! And it's was, it was like I, I like lost it. It was so cool. Um, yeah. How do we? Yeah. Let's look up day night cycle. <laughs> I feel so. Here's the thing. I'm kind of I'm kind of like piecing something together, which uh, we'll see if that survives. Um, but maybe it's something where like during the day, like you have you, we have like chupacabras and we have chinchillas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it's like what and and they're all coming down from the sky. Are all the chinchillas the same? Right now they're all the same. Considering there's only one of them. There's one mob that we have. Don't <laughs> um, worry about color pets. Technically, there's later. the box. That's true. Technically, there's the box. Is the box also a chinchilla? Yes. Um, it's in every. They just put a map of a chinchilla onto a box. No. Where does one find a map of a chinchilla? Is it on the asset store? Or something? We I just like Google Google image uh, chinchilla and placed it on this. This is the result. Oh, I see. So wait, what's the other model? Uh, it's this thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, where did that come from? It was uh, Google's, from Google Poly or whatever. They called Wait. it a wood rat. We called it a chinchilla. <laughs> yeah, we need to, uh, at maybe, some point... Maybe you need to add some rotation well, to its falling, too, so it's not just falling straight down, because it sort of yeah. seems like kind of a static fall, and it's kind of a little boring. But it's, we have to punch it up here. Wouldn't the light yeah. be over there, where it says lights? Uh, maybe where they already be? have a, uh, a dynamic source. light. Oh, I was looking on the left side, but maybe that's not... Oh, where here? This is lights. But is that just where you yeah? This lights? is like objects you can uh, drag into the. Um, I would guess. Just do a direction I think the skylight is the one that lets you like make it a day night cycle thing. Yeah, probably. Oh, it was literally right there. Oh, this one right there. Oh, you want to Tutorial. stream a stream? Um, it's like how I learned. Well, maybe this might be a lot of ways to do it. Here. I just made a light that spun. Oh, that's interesting. Troubleshooting <laughs> the sun. <laughs> oh, that's man. Be, if that's... the sun went out, we would all be very <laughs> yeah. in trouble. Yeah, like, what, seven minutes? Autumn. Actually, it's the middle of the night right now. We don't know. If the sun went out, we would find out for about another 12 hours. Yeah. That try turning the sun on. Yeah, on there, friend. Put it in the, uh, yeah, click on that light box. Suggestion or thing? We just Otherwise, don't get sunlight. Yeah, it's the quickest way to get to the suggestions out here. We got a suggestion from chat. Well, we would notice because the, the moon would go chat out. Too. True. Well, well, not that What? Is, what? I don't know what that <laughs> means. It means no gun, no gun, no gun to us. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Gun to us, us, that? us. Those are eagles? It's is that Eagles. USA? Oh, that's the Eagles. The, why does the flag show up as like the letters U.S.? That's weird. Why are the Eagles facing that? What are those middle things? 
It's like a... Those were some fireworks? Oh. <laughs> Google is not liking that, apparently. No, Google... Uh, I think Windows 10 has some dumb font choices. Oh, God. Yeah, that's true. That could be it. Um, uh, testing clone technology system users. And they use it to make the chinchilla army. Yeah. So that's what we could just have clones of chinchillas. They could all look the same. Are you saying all chinchillas look the same to you, Greg? Pretty much. Like, uh, like, how do you click on the sun? <laughs> Level settle. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Let's actually make a new level because you don't want to use their blueprints. Yeah. Um, right. Oh man, wait, what, John? I've, I don't think I've ever seen you make a level in Unreal that isn't this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this is like the default still. Um, so let's make. Let's a new do it. Level. Let's do a whole new level. Yeah. It's a whole new it's world. Cool. Anything is possible. It's too long since I've seen <laughs> that movie. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I would have tried. Yeah, the Lion King was a pretty good one, wasn't it? <laughs> you can't do that. Wow, that's uh, it's nothing because I put nothing in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do well, here we go. We'll just take Taco's suggestion. We'll just take this map of a day-night cycle and just throw it on the floor. And that way, we have a day-night cycle. Right? <laughs> we'll just use it as a texture for the floor. And boom. <laughs> We're done. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Sky sphere. <laughs> like this. You just incorporate everything that way. Now, I <laughs> <laughs> now when you have a theme, you just, you know, find a picture, picture of it, stick it. <laughs> the, uh, stick it on there, make whatever game you want. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> oh, you want dynamic lights? Here, let me write something that says dynamic lights. Put Man, it on the floor. Boom. Boom. I know. I'm, Done. <laughs> next, next time, I might have to figure out how to do that setup. You what? are using two screens right now. I don't know what a Reese's well, peanut then, butter scenario is, but I do like Reese's peanut butter cups. Well, I have to. I would have to reset. They're that probably my favorite. Uh, <clears throat> OBS, which means they're probably full of junk. Of course. Oh, of course. Also, like people wouldn't be able to see what I was junk. doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah that's the best of the best junk that. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Is there actually? Uh, let's, yeah, let's do that. I think I'd some more. Anthony could go. Like a chair wise instead of just sitting in that corner. Do it over. I mean, there's some chairs over here. <coughs> they are also in that corner. But yeah, but that corner, you can see the screen. Right I don't know if you can see the screen. Yeah. There's a chair behind John as well, which is probably oh. more accessible. Yeah. Oh man, TVGS snack update. You're out of Chips Ahoy Chewies. Oh, out of the bag. That says Whoa. Chips Ahoy we have almost an entire box of stone wheat crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I would like some stone wheat crackers. There's stone okay. wheat. Okay. Thank you. Lucas. You're my savior. With well, I hope there aren't any interesting icons on that. What flavor are these? These are uh, there's, there's, it's all salt. Kosher. These are not flavored. <laughs> this is apparent. Is it the place? Freddy Fazbear. Oh, you're Perfect. trying out the Unity Hub? How is that? This is a soft tea. I, mean, I like wasn't it. able to get some stuff working on it. Um, I had such a soft tea right there. That's unfortunate. I thought, well, I guess maybe. All right. Hopefully it'll be better. better. Wait, I think it just says it's sure. free well, from flavors. <laughs> oh, you got No Man's Sky too, huh? Yeah. No Man's Sky as well, not the sequel. Right? Yeah, actually, you <laughs> streamed that. That was like the first stream of the year, I think. Or yeah, the last yeah. stream of the year. I don't remember. It was like... It was like I don't know, it was like during one of those weeks. Um, it was pretty fun. So now I'm looking up. <laughs> Actually, let's go to OBS Studio real quick. Hang on one minute. I don't know what the heck's going on in chat. I'll leave that to the moderator. <laughs> There's peanut oh, butter okay. talk going on there that I can't follow. <laughs> Those are bone jelly. I think, I think Taco Bell was quoting something. 
Well, then there should be quotation marks, right? Your peanut butter is in my chocolate. Your chocolate is in my peanut butter. <laughs> no, for purists. For chocolate and peanut butter purists, I guess. And no, uh, no, I'm... Well, no, you know, the peanut butter is not allowed in my lovely chocolate biology. <laughs> yeah. A dramatic reading by Frederica. Oh, <laughs> you want to you dramatically read chat? Would that oh, be I, fantastic? I don't do dramatic readings. So that's more your I do prefer a peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have any peanut butter. <laughs> that's not what they said. It says, we shall fight to the death. <laughs> oh, so we so shall fight to the death then. <laughs> There are these. Oh, gold emblem. These are CBS brand crackers. Yes. Yeah. Wow. We spend our money wisely, thank you very I much. I think they were a fine choice. They thank were, you. They are uh, my favorite saltine of all the saltines in the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that is a pretty hard bar there. We, uh, we definitely... Um, you have missed a dramatic reading, Anthony. What do you tell us? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sharing a space so that table we can move over for you if you wanted. I'm okay. You're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. We don't want you to feel like you had to sit in the corner. I want to. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like it. At TVDS, we, we, we accept, accept it. Something you don't want to help me uh, dramatically read the chat here, Anthony? <laughs> no. I think he's dodging a bullet. The next line is I have cho chocolate and peanut butter at my place, though. So, can you recite that one? Yeah, this is though at the end. You can really play with that. <laughs> Who's I'm on my way. Only a 20 hour butter. drive to Chef Taco, mm. Taco Pill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nephron is in, um, it, it goes to Tulane, which is New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, she's a so, little far. Yep. New, now, is it New Orleans and New Orleans? New Orleans, yeah. New Orleans <laughs> is how. What? Nola, I think, is how we're supposed to pronounce it. <laughs> Nola? Frequently, that's what you call Nola, yeah. It's New, New Orleans, done. Louisiana. I'm trying to find a YouTube yeah, video to. Is oh, you Nola did the thing with the Oscar? Nola. Yeah. Nola. 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 Yeah, you can't do that. Just get to the chat one. Tori, you couldn't do that. Deal with this video. There's no vowels. Or why? I guess not. Yeah, it doesn't really count, right? Yeah, yeah. What would I guess? If you did New York City, New York, would that be like Nick Nick D? Nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. Sounds like you call your grandma or something. There is a C. So Nick D. Oh, it can be Nolans, according to Ooh, my sister. I don't know how to pronounce the uh, that flying comma. <laughs> no, it could be N Owens. It's quite a, quite a place if you haven't been. It's 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 a very odd place. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Mardi Gras recently, or is that coming? It's out? it's always Mardi Gras. Always Mardi Gras. Okay. <laughs> they have Mardi Gras for weeks. I think it's actually next week. Yeah, I, I think so too. But it, they, they have right. it. They, they start it really early, and they just keep having weeks of mm. of events. I do like Nola because accents are hard, and I get tired. And I got tired of the weird looks. <laughs> yeah, you have to have been born in, in a bayou to pronounce the apostrophe. <laughs> and yeah, Mardi Gras is now through next week. Okay. But yeah, they, they have like parades of every different kind. They have events, yeah. And it shuts the whole city down. <laughs> It'll be one of those places I'd like to go before I... I think WrestleMania. I think New Orleans is on. Oh, there's a lot of events that they have to go to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw a video of people doing that. People like to visit. I make a pub crawl on the matter. The one for the stone blue cracker. Well, this is the common oh, yeah, occurrence no. in games. We just gotta start over from the beginning. <laughs> the iterative process mm -hmm. of uh, give up on the chinchillas. Focus on the day night cycle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, I'm gonna. You know, uh, we'll merge them later, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's so true. Week after is Mardi Gras. We'll lose public transit to work. Transit to work soon, though. 
because tourists are everywhere. It's a very flat place too if you walk. <laughs> That's not so bad, no, no. Makes it easier. She, she's very tired. She, she's uh, not used to hills anymore. We, we grew up in the, the northeast, so. Um, and I, I, threat, I, I tried to get her to walk up the hill to RPI. <laughs> yeah, it's a hill. Well, <laughs> to be fair, walking up the hill to RPI is a daunting task, even if you're from around here. <laughs> quite I know. But she's my younger sister. I have to give her a hard time. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It makes biking in the city very annoying. <laughs> and she was carrying all of uh, you guys' belongings, too, while doing it, yeah? <laughs> I can no longer handle hills. It has been five years, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so just move your light source way up and just have it have rotation over time. Mm. I saw it. We got it. Mm. Nice. The mystery of the sun solved. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> no this thingy. <laughs> I'm just living the shadow. Yeah, Matt, Wait a minute. Super short. That's how the sun works, and we are living on a flat earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> because that gr that, that's flat to me. But the sun, but the sun well, Clearly is... the simulation is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you saying our sun isn't accurate? Why aren't we having an accurate sun? Do you want to go to the... Uh, oh, no, my favorite thing about the Flat Earth Society is that they largely agree that Mars that is round. What is do you think? Print? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not like Sure. I think I would have to so redesign the level a little yes. bit. Just put the sun like way up into the left. Why is it okay level. for Mars to do Well, I don't think it's, well, uh, it's positional based. Yeah. 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 They, they always have the thing right. where like the proof that doesn't work because the physics work different here. Right. But why does it work on Mars? And then I Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I have not looked. No, I, I used to love looking at that stuff, but I kind of got tired of it after a while. I have not looked at the. I, did I just flatter. hear it from so, time to time now. Like the reason I found, I yeah, heard about was that apparently a yes, spinning the circular yeah, sponge yeah, proves it exactly. because water flies with so a sponge. Do it works. So why does oh, that happen on Earth? Okay, I must have been using the wrong thing. What's keeping the water on the planet? Man, what's keeping the water? That's an accumulating there. We've literally proved that gravity exists. Well, that was much easier than you anticipated, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I am literally glad I did not disappoint. That, that it's been yeah. space time. And somehow. <laughs> I think it's because of these like walls. Anyone can, can do Things are having issues. Nope. Can you get rid of the walls? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> then we are on a flat Earth. I have not heard any. Uh, yeah, John, what are you going to do about that? this? Can you make this a spherical Earth so that these people, so these flat Earthers can be shut down? <laughs> I don't understand why someone just doesn't make a game like that, and then you can see that it's not... I'm pretty sure they did. It was called Super Mario Galaxy. And then they made a second one because it was so good. And that one was called Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, come on, that's obviously a video game. It's fake. You've seen those graphics? <laughs> They're very colorful. Uh, <laughs> I yep. think the mushroom can so do the I'm double clicking. Well, no. Super Mario Galaxy doesn't take place Have in the mushroom. Have you played Odyssey? Galaxy? You go to the moon like and you can see... I you double click. You can see the this. planet that Mario's from and it doesn't look like Earth. The there's, continents don't match up. There's an actual like, small island shaped like a mushroom. I remember <laughs> that. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe. In Odyssey? Mm. Yeah. I think so. Are you telling me that the fan theory that the entire Nintendo universe takes place in the, er, in the future <laughs> when <laughs> most humans have once extinct is actually true? Wait, Wait a minute, so. Doc. Are you telling me you made a time machine You're out of a DeLorean? <laughs> yes. You might be thinking of Pixar? Splatoon. <clears throat> yes, I am. You're thinking of Splatoon. Mm. So, for those who's not in the know of the Nintendo lore, or excuse me, the Nintendo is this official, official canon, lore? by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Carl was about to say. This is not okay. Let me. You're one of the consultants. Let me writers. pull a disclaimer by this is not an official. He's just denying it. We shouldn't even <laughs> mention the N word. They're going to get this thrown off of Twitch and YouTube so oh, yeah. quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, it starts it's with. Uh, like a broccoli cheese thing. I was just curious. The, the whole Nintendo, the whole fan theory of where Nintendo universes start starts with Pikmin. Our our wonderful travelers uh, from outer space has actually visited Earth and discovered that nobody is alive. 
Mm-hmm. So already we have established that the, the t- Nintendo timeline, uh, the humans have one of the extinct. Yeah, there's Duracell batteries lying around. Right. So, I mean, and I then guess, uh, I guess the. No, wasn't this Pixar? I guess the Earth could like. <laughs> oh yeah. Could have changed like all the continents and land could have changed. And stuff. I just went through like four Pangeas. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. but then the sea the level stream? rose. And mm-hmm. enter in Splatoon, where they're now suffering from the sea, rising sea level. Mm-hmm. They're, still there. And they're not really they're sure what to do. They evolve. Is Metroid like? No, 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 no. no. The, you, in the actual Splatoon uh, hidden scrolls, they talk about the rising sea levels mm-hmm. and how that's actually affecting the silly life. Is it just like basically Australia just becomes Hyrule? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, post all that incident. Uh, enter Mario, where farther into the future, it looks like somehow the humans have come back, but it's only, uh, there was only very few of them left over, kind of like, uh, Adventure Time's I don't know, they're the mutated remains, which is why they right. look like that. Are we changing, like, our stream topic for the future to Nintendo fan theories? Because they look a lot more viewers that way, honestly. And then, uh, moving even further into the future, uh, magic comes back into play, and finally we have the Legend of Zelda universe, where the uh, the humans has figured out how to repopulate, but they also grew pointy years. Wait, time out. Mm. <laughs> where does Mario Rabbids fit into this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know Mario Rabbids was actually just a VR? Sarah's, you just go through the warp pipe and you're there. It's just another... It's another world. I didn't hear all that before, that's quite interesting. So anyway, <laughs> John, why don't you tell us about what you're working on now? That's the only person actually working on this game. I got food. <laughs> All right, keep talking. Uh, nobody explodes. Well, I, I feel like you. Did you put the direction light here? I feel like we've gone. I've seen this level before. I I went back to the other level. So the directional light. Um, there's like a very. It, it's, I don't know, I think we have to tweak it a bunch to actually get a proper day-night. Because, um, like, basically there's a very thin uh, window of where it actually looks like a, a sun setting and whatnot. Um, I'm going to work on the spawner because I keep getting distracted from actually <laughs> doing that. Um, so I'm going to... Um, Maybe you have to rotate the light source while moving the light source? Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably what they're doing here. Because if you have it pointed at the center and you have it moving around and, and the light source moving the same way, then your angles will change. Uh, and you'll get, lo- you'll get a longer period of time where you have long angles, just like in the afternoon. So it is flat. <laughs> yeah, well, because the sun is going around the earth, not the other way around. I wish you could rotate the level <laughs> instead of... Just you could rotate the level, right? That'd be a very bad game yeah. where like, the level like flipped over on you and like, just keep the day-night circle working. <laughs> you ever play... It was a very simple level, but for the old PlayStation, the first one, there was a game called Blast Chamber. Um, maybe, yeah. It was four-player local co-op. You were all stuck in a cube, and you could flip the cube because you were trying to get everybody else killed because they had bombs strapped to them. So you are trying to pick up items to prolong that time. But that was a game that you could flip the level on everybody. Well, this level, like, if you got flipped over, you end up just in space. Yeah. Well, where's that gravity coming from? Well, yeah, I guess Chinchilla is not an animal that lives in a cage, huh? That you could, like, turn around and shake and things. Mm. Um. Shake, shake, shake. Ah, <laughs> uh, we live in a shake weight. Yeah, it's the it's a game set inside a shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna do that. <laughs> so at certain times of the day, right, it gets a little more vigorous than other days. Then every like every time New Year's pass, it gets a bit more shaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess in some ways that simulate like an earthquake. Huh? Well, if you want to simulate earthquakes, you just have to, or excuse me, if you just want to create earthquakes, you just have to uh, move the camera around. <laughs> Wait, so what if there's two flat earths, and each one is on one side of a shake it weight, and that's where earthquakes come from? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make the game and find out. Yeah, you can shake the camera around, I guess, but that's, you know, that's not real. 
<laughs> Sorry, I lied. I actually went back to sun, uh, day night cycle because I was looking through that tutorial and like, and it looks easy enough to do in like uh, twenty minutes ish. So everyone keep talking about. <laughs> John has to think really hard. I have to think so hard. <laughs> so. Global Game Jam was last weekend, and there was no stream to do that. Yes. Uh, what did we make out of Global Game Jam? I want to share that information. I right. made what a bookshelf, yeah. actually. I, it, I, oh. I did not participate in Global Game Jam, so I was too busy cleaning my house. So I, I went to Walmart, I spent $30, I got a bookshelf, and now my Legos have a nice place to stay. Nice. That's good. So that was a very, it was a very productive weekend for me, but I didn't yeah. win any points in Global Game Jam, unfortunately. How about you, Tara? There's no points for a global game jam, right? There's no points. No. Oh, darn. No prizes. No. Uh, no. It's just for fun. Game. So uh, I watched a keynote video. <laughs> that was quite an experience. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I was like, what keynote? I was like, oh yeah. That. One. <laughs> <laughs> that. Another one. Wow. Yeah, one other one. Could you be talking There's about? There's no. There wasn't even any like little prizes locally this time? Nope. Uh, there was no prizes locally this time. Actually, so I was mm -hmm. part, uh, one of the organizers of uh, this Global Game Jam here that we did yeah. in our area. And uh, that was a very deliberate choice. Uh, this time around we want uh, people to be able to play uh, games a little longer than usual. Often yeah. what happens during uh, the prize sessions is that it would encourage people to play other people's games because you want to vote on their, your favorite game. But the mm -hmm. problem is that then we'd have to kind of close it off and say, all right, we've pulled mm -hmm. all the votes. Uh, here are the winners. Yeah. And so uh, to rather than rushing people, I insisted. Yes, it was, in fact, one of my suggestions. Um, it was a suggestion from multiple different locations, mind you. Mm -hmm. But I was one of them. Uh, I just basically said, look, we want people to play, have more time to be able to play people's games. Can we achieve that? Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, our, our, all the organizers agreed that we should probably do that this time around. And I have been uh, doing a very informal survey with mm -hmm. a few uh, attendees. And so far, I'm interpreting it as it has been a more positive experience yeah. than it was with the prizes. Yeah. I, I shall survey you, Anthony. Did you think it was a more positive experience, or do you I think I wasn't it? there? But I <laughs> <laughs> tell us your thoughts, please. <laughs> I, have, I have been pretty vocal about my feelings regarding that part of the jam locally, mm -hmm. and I was I wasn't a fan of it. I'm well, not, I'm not a fan. familiar with it. Can you reiterate your feelings for for the stream and I myself? I wasn't a fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was much better personally. Yeah. I, I I participated and and I and I and I, uh, I felt like it was it was more fun to be able to play everyone's games and have enough time to play everyone's games. Yeah, it was. Uh, in my, uh, I always thought like getting to play the games and seeing people play your game mm -hmm. was the reward. Yeah. And uh, we we never have enough time to like play the games and vote for whoever. Mm. It was also, it was good because we actually had a, a sort of a, a comment system. Yeah. We, we, we could like yeah. do comments and it was good. That's to be, cool. yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, a little uh, com comments and maybe some mm -hmm. advice and critique, that sounds good. Right. Yeah. To be absolutely clear, um, like there is one positive. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm with you, Anthony. Let me start with that. In regards to uh, having a reward system, I'm, I don't like the idea of making a game jam into a competition. Yeah. With very like, unless you're walking in knowing that it's a competition, there's no good reason to do the so. Same, the same, like the same folks will, will win like every year. Right, exactly, and I don't like seeing that either. Yeah. Um, the second, like, the second thing is uh, just from an organization perspective, it's a nightmare. You you have to uh, schedule a time to get all the prizes. You have to determine what those prizes are. You have to determine what categories are going on. Who's going to be funding those prizes, so on and so it's forth. It's just a, it's a bummer mm -hmm. to put all that time into something and then like not win something. Mm -hmm. So like have it put up against some, something else, or like... Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking for. 
you know, somebody who's like had more experience. And I think that yeah, it's, tutorial it's like they, really they, they, they might even uh, so it like may even be their profession like already. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and they're doing this for mm -hmm. you know for the fun of it. Like I do it for the fun of it, and I don't want people to well, feel bad when they see my game and they're like, "Holy crap, the graphics are really, really amazing!" I'll never achieve this level of amazingness, and I'm like, "But that's not the reason why I attend the Global Game Jam. I just attend Global Game Jam because it's fun. Yeah, that's it." But I mean, you know, those people that, for whatever reason, they haven't, you know, come to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. I and then we had we have this, we had those voting things and like well I might, now my game oh, is geez. is getting is getting votes or not getting votes and it's being it's being compared to this other thing that's you know someone who's already a professional has worked on. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I'm gonna move on with the topic. Uh, I, where was I? <laughs> right, right. I was gonna say there is exactly one positive thing about uh, about having prizes and a voting session. Um, I can think of two. Uh, depending on how it's how it's done, which we don't do this way, but if there's an actual set of judges, then having feedback from the professional judges themselves is very useful. Yeah. And second. Uh, it encourages people to actually play each other's games because now you feel obligated uh, to do so. So um, we haven't really achieved the latter part of it. I mean, so I mean, we were trying to think of a way, we basically. We don't have time for that. Right, right. No, don't get me wrong. Uh, we were trying to find a way to encourage that latter part of it to get people to uh, play each other's game and actually have these feedback sessions so that they yeah. can provide that information rather than, you know, just letting people go immediately back home. Um, I mean, mind you, we're not going to stop anyone if they want to, uh, but as much as possible we're trying to strategize on a way to make that happen. And so the commenting section that uh, Frederica mentioned earlier uh, was the method that we came up with, which is um, we have this paper system where you post post-it notes writing down what you thought about the game on the feet, on the yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can you can put a sticker letting you know that the comment was really good. Mm -hmm. I think next time what we're probably gonna do is um, we might have name tags where you can uh, where the developers can drop stickers onto for each person. So if they provided a good feedback, then they put a sticker on your name tag. So that's that might be the next thing that we might do. Uh, it seems like uh, ha writing down the feedback was not nearly as popular as I hoped. I thought it was really useful towards I the end. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was really useful for me, but... Um, Did people say it wasn't useful for them? There was one or two, um, but then again, I'm working mm -hmm. with a very small mm -hmm. sample size. So uh, I need to compare everything, not from a normal bell, uh, standard deviation bell curve, but rather in a student T curve. Well, this is yeah. statistics that I actually learned in <laughs> high school. <laughs> Some of it might be maybe they don't know how to interpret the comments they're giving, so they're just throwing right. it away, right? They might not know what mm -hmm. what's happening, or people might not know positive ways to give good criticism. Mm -hmm. And is that Chris? Is that critique coming from the people receiving the post notes or people leaving them? The post-it notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, the critique is coming from the people leaving them, as in like it's tedious, or the people who are receiving them who think they're not necessary. Uh, the person receiving them, they said that it was tedious. Uh, writing it down is a different error. I have not actually asked about what they thought about writing down comments. I just broadly asked, what do you think about the comments in section? Hmm. section. But for the people who were, uh, you know, not writing it down. Um, what the? This is, uh, this is like one of those tutorials where the first like minute is the person's intro. Yeah, yeah, like it's subscribe. Yeah, no. blah, I bet blah, if you blah, had music on, it would be like bah, 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 bah. <laughs> something like those yeah. steps. Yeah, all that, that stuff. Oh, uh, where was I? Uh, so, placing the comment, they said that they didn't, they weren't all that into receiving comments on a paper form, which I was surprised. I thought it was really good, but uh, that's just me. Uh, I did hear some feedback on that regards. Uh, let's see. We did do the beginning of the Global Game Jam differently as well. We basically copied what we do here at the Tech Valley Game Space in regards to uh, team building and project pitching. 
Uh, it seems like project pitching in particular was popular. The team building was a little more wackier. Uh, there was some uh, feedback there in regards to what we could have done to polish that a little more. Um, the main problem, though, was the brainstorming session was exactly the same time we were serving dinner. Yeah. And RPI's yeah. rules were so weird that they did not let us eat inside a classroom. So we had to all stand in the hall and eat outside, which was really awkward. That was not on us. Like, we had planned rooms to have meals in, and then we were told, oh, no, we changed that rule. You can't do that. And we're like, what? Yeah, that was... Yeah, those classrooms, you're not allowed to bring food because they're like the special oh, both computer them? labs. The other one doesn't have computers in them. Well, well those are like special labs for the... And especially because that they turned that space into like a space where they bring like VPs and stuff on like tours and things. So it's got like extra special rules because all those rooms have windows in them so they try and keep them extra clean. <coughs> it's really, uh, really frustrating. Also, yeah. you, know, you, can't, you can't eat, you can't drink. I mean, I like, there, so there's a ton of classrooms around there. Mm -hmm. I know specifically yeah. <laughs> the G, uh, specifically the game development, uh, the game simulation and art, whatever. The GSAS uh, course, uh, game simulation, the art and sciences. The game, the, the GSAS department doesn't have control over those other classrooms. But I think next time around, we should try to, uh, mm -hmm. we should at least try to see if we can somehow have control over the other classrooms because there are some like old-fashioned classrooms, you know, uh, chalkboard desks that we could just literally make a makeshift lunchroom out of very quickly. I know the uh, LARP groups use that building for stuff, so it wouldn't yeah. surprise me if there were rooms on the other floors that you could probably do whatever the heck right. you want because like, they're old. So that would be my preference. Um, but yeah, so that, didn't, that did not work out because of uh, reasons that we had no control over. Hmm. That was not fun. I think most people just rolled with it, though. Huh? I think most people just went with it, though. Yeah. Or were understanding. I mean, a lot of them, I think, were RPI students or alums, so they were familiar with... Nobody's going <laughs> to complain about the matter in which you're given free food. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think this is the idea that it, it cut into chip brainstorming idea time. Right. Like nobody's yeah. brainstorming idea while they're eating and standing up. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Um, and I think that was that. That seems to be Taro's major sticking point here. Because right. then, when the time to share the ideas, it's like, oh, I mean, even I felt rushed. Right. Uh, you know, I'm a little older than a student, so. I definitely <laughs> thought that. Uh, uh, so our original plan, if you're curious, was uh, when the keynote was running, we would serve dinner then. Oh yeah, that would have been give us something to do. Yeah. Right. So like, you're actually <laughs> that's watching, a good idea. <laughs> right. No, you're actually watching something, and you're eating. I mean, it, most people are, most people at that age range. Uh, you have to be eighteen and up to go to a uh, global game jam. But most people at that age range. Oh, I, excuse me. That is actually incorrect. You really? can come in if you're under eighteen. However, you must have a parental guardian all yeah, time. Yeah, Huh? One of your, we've had younger he, folks come That was a before. very recent Oh man, change. multiple. Wow, they're coming in from space. What is this happening? Wow. So it's it this is actually working now. Working. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did nothing to it. Well, you added that other thing. You had a timer, right? So you probably just inadvertently <laughs> activated the global timer. What, what is the... Uh, what is the, uh, the oh my god. <laughs> what is the speech for uh, developers? My code isn't working, I don't know why, and later, my code is working and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you should make your tails a physics object. Does like this count as raining? We need a, I need I a skeleton. So. Yeah, it's raining. It's coming from the one cloud in the sky. <laughs> now you just have to make them despawn when you shoot them. Well, I mean, I was still sticky poisoned to that sun that was <laughs> rotating. <laughs> I don't even. I, I, <laughs> listen. Why are they exploding on their own? Well, oh, it's, it's, steps it's, it's yeah. any physics contact. <laughs> this explosion. I'm just buried in chinchillas now. <laughs> God, the horror. Nothing wrong with being buried in chinchillas. <laughs> the bionicles did this to you. Yeah. Right. I don't even. I I I wasn't. I You're was like. Be, I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Are they being stacked on you? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> the 
Yeah. The strides when they're stacked on you, they're just Crocodile not constantly going off. Crocodile says the Google stream mm. keeps having problems. You got any Transformers songs? I don't. Are we streaming on Google? On Google we are YouTube. streaming on YouTube. Okay. Um, uh, are we losing Paco frames? No. We're not really losing frames. Why do I have Smash Mouth as a recommended <laughs> video? Oh, hey now. That was my fault. You're an all-star. Are you on a <laughs> TVGS account? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> I, was, I was editing videos and maybe something came up that I had to click on. <laughs> You're gonna get the videos like content uh, muted. Yeah, that's true. But we're not playing it. Okay, this is. I literally cannot move. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to navigate. Like, thanks for the digits. Okay. Can you push them out of the way with the... I, I can. Uh, maybe, kind of. You got, you got to work down. I am checking the YouTube live stream. It is smooth as butter. Okay. Dang. Did well, you give it an up like? An up like. So yeah, I should words. give it an up like. <laughs> I don't think that's I the word. This, up this, is the, like this is the up screenshot. Like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube <laughs> channel. www.youtube.com <laughs> Is it slash Tech Valley Game Space or TVGS on YouTube? If it's not up Tech like, Game Space. then it must be um, www.youtube.com slash you slash Tech Valley Game Space. Subscribe, subscribe today and smash. like all our videos. Smash, smash, smash that like button. Mm. I like it. Smash the little <laughs> bell thing to subscribe so that you get notification when our things come out. Up like and smash scribe to our YouTube. <laughs> 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 uh, so yeah, that was what it was like organizing the Global Game Jam in that mm -hmm. a lot of things fell through because we're like, we want to be able to do this. And they're like, no, we won't let you. Mm -hmm. That also happened with... Uh, that's too bad you couldn't uh, have a venue that would like be more okay with you putting food like literally mm -hmm. anywhere. <laughs> that also happened with <laughs> dinner um, at the beginning because uh, apparently there was a miscalculation and we did not have uh, a vegetarian or vegan option, excuse me. We were actually looking for vegan options, a vegan option at the time. Um, again, that was literally a last minute we had to change orders affair and that's that's how that complaint happened i mean we really try to be as inclusive as possible and that includes vegans and vegetarians mm -hmm. um and that plan did not work out can we make a new starting spot like on top of a block that way we're not but I talk about all the negatives. It makes it sound like as if we had a terrible global game jam. Mm -hmm. What does everybody think? It sounds like a disaster. Oh, no! <laughs> it, was great, it was a very good global game jam, I thought. I yeah, don't know, I, I don't it. know if I'm ever going again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the experience you didn't have. <laughs> Maybe just never coming back. It's like, it's, it sounds terrible. You have to live life yeah. vicariously. <laughs> No, it was it was it was good. I was I was there for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was good. It's a good a good jam. Mm -hmm. A lot of cool games. A lot of yeah. good, good yeah. games. Many ga many games. Many jams. <laughs> <laughs> many jams that happen. Yeah. I for one got my uh, construct two lesson done. That was a game jam. <laughs> <laughs> what good stuff? Like you had a lesson that you I made had during to, the game? I had to yeah. write a lesson <laughs> during the game jam. Oh, nice. If you made your lesson a game, then you could kill two birds with one stone. Indeed. Yeah, arguably I did. It did. That's exactly what I did, actually, arguably. <laughs> So if it's arguably, that means we could argue that you didn't do that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say to make the dust gun like. Pick up a bowl. Pick, pick a up a bowl? <laughs> a pick up. A pickle. <laughs> is that what that gun is? A dust gun? Yeah, yeah it's a gun. Dust gun. Well, it's would it be a launcher uh, at this point? Would it be a launcher at this point? Yeah. 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 You, know, you were on the stream, weren't you? 
Yeah, I remember suggesting making it a water gun, but that's bad for chinchillas. Yeah, yeah, we learned. Oh, you were the one trying to kill the chinchillas. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's like know. an Ikaruga thing, where like you got two guns. One like is good for chinchillas, but the other one will kill chinchillas. Yeah, but another one that's good for the cats. Yeah. Makes so. sense. Yeah, that's what. That's a good because we were thinking of making it turn into a chupacabra. Is that it too? Yeah, chupacabra. At one point. Yeah. Which is still uh, might work. Still might happen. <laughs> I mean, they just transform and slowly move towards the character. Make the noise from yeah, we gotta make sure that yeah, we gotta make sure that uh, <laughs> we contort these chinchillas and they become transformers of cha cha cabras. Uh, I don't think we can use that word. This is not the, that's the very <laughs> I think we can call them transmorphers. We're talking about yeah, that's um, good point. electrical components. <laughs> ah. So they turn into big, like, rectangular blocks with <laughs> coils. <laughs> Need... Okay. I don't know what ta Taco Pillows is trying to tell us. I don't know what he's trying to say. We need try it that. I don't know. <laughs> tra tra it sounds like a disease or something. We need... Trebusitis? Trebusitis? It's spelling. Trebusites? I have no idea what's happening Tree here. Trebuckets? It's the chat, right? No, oh, that? I don't know what's happening there. Oh. No idea. Chris. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's Chris. I, I don't... I, I think he's trying to spell something phonetically, and I... Tree... Tre... Tre... Trebuchets? Trebuchets? Trebuchets! Oh, Trebuchets! Hey! There you go! Yes! How did you get trebuchet. trebuchet from that? You were going treb... <laughs> <laughs> it's a form of catapult, isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, that is a... Hard to spell. Quite a spelling. I must say. Uh, a trebuchet? Yeah, that sounds good. T-R-E-B-U-C-H-E-T. Uh, it's in chat now, so now you're cheating, so it's fine. I don't know. Oh, you don't have the chat open? You you still banned from it? I'm not banned. Well, even when you're banned, you can read it. You just can't write to it. Can you read the chat? I've I've moved on to putting my emojis <laughs> to the suggestions box. Thank you very much. <laughs> Which is happy with any number of emoji because it's not yes. trying to force us into. Yes, you you don't have to deal with the the inferior system which they decide. <laughs> <clears throat> Nicely done. So John, you want to give us a lesson on Unreal's coding mechanisms here, for those of us that don't know? <laughs> kind of like, what am I looking at here? Oh How man. How this works? <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> Truly a more wretched mind of a summon villain. <laughs> So, so what particular good. components are we looking at here, like and this, how do they uh, function? I like this wire. connect the dots. Yeah. <laughs> Coding. It's like any so option can be can happen, right? It's all possible. So I'm messing around with. I'm trying to make it so like we actually have like ammo, um, or an ammo count, so like it won't actually fire projectile. I guess you have to make that variable. You're gonna have to pick yeah. up more dust bags. Yeah. Well, that's why I have the dispenser. So what's the last thing that for like going on in here to get that ammo count? So I don't know what I've been doing. What the last has, time uh, so this is like this is mostly based on the uh, default uh, preset that came with um, like when you start the first person project in Unreal. So um, so these are just events that happen when um, you click on the mouse button or you touch the screen. Um, so this could uh, this has touch controls. Um, All right. Well, interesting. Um, <laughs> So what I've added is, so, so basically like this white wire here is uh, connected to spawn actor. And this basically will just spawn um, actors like what they call just game objects. So I have this projectile object um, where we can like swap that out. That's a, by default, that's the uh, dust bag. Um, so transform is like the uh, location, the rotation and the scale of the thing, which they have computation to figure out like the, I don't know, I guess the uh, certain point where you're supposed to spawn it. But what I've done is I've added this uh, integer ammo bags, um, which is basically like the count of ammo bag. Because mm -hmm. uh, we might have like other types of uh, weapons and this would get uh, 
expand it out in that case. Okay, so it'll only shoot when ammo bags greater than zero? Yeah, so that's the, that is the idea. It is, in practice, not working. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's because of uh, instancing. Like, I have the instance of the player... Um, the, the default is zero, and the instance has... Uh, the instance in the game level has like 10, and it's still not working. So I don't know if it's like resetting to the default or what. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so like right now what it's doing is uh, when you click, it makes a check, <coughs> a quick check to see how many, if you have more than one ammo bag, basically. Um, or you have more than zero. Um, and if that's true, it'll spawn it, and then at the end, after it plays everything, uh, it'll delete that. Um, although sound location. I think that's a gun. Actually, let's see what happens if I make the default just 10. So this is... So I just put breakpoint on this. Uh, so this is what debugging looks like in Unreal. So this is kind of... Uh, <laughs> so I think this is I lost my cursor. What's happening? <laughs> this is like some serious tutorializing happening right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> that's that's why I say. Um yeah, so this is, I mean, I might just, uh, I'm going to save everything real quick, and I might try, and, uh, can I just re-import everything? Um, well, because, because I don't know, like, I set up the code for spawning chinchillas, like, a while ago, and it wasn't working, and all of a sudden it just started working. <laughs> so, like, I don't know if there's, like, some uh, weird, like, memory thing that's happening, um, I think what happened was when you went to mess with the day night cycle stuff, you probably started some timer thing that you had not running. That was the thing that also managed the spawn yeah. of the chinchillas. So now now uh, now everything's working. So I have ten ammo bags and now I can't fire anymore. Okay, now I got okay, cool. set up a collection system. So now that works. Yeah. <clears throat> One thing I am noticing. See, sometimes it helps just to talk through your problems. <laughs> and it solves them, man. It's just, so close. just all you just, need. All we need is like two more things. And this is a game. First of all, yeah. we need to be able to fix the chinchillas and despawn them, and then we need to like a way to count that and display it on the screen. Then it's a game. Yeah. <laughs> How many you chinchillas can that? you clean before they bury you alive? Are you saying every game needs numbers on the screen? I'm just saying, like, there needs to be a goal. If you're just cleaning chinchillas and you don't have any feedback on it, then it's not very fun. Mm -hmm. Intuitively. I mean, to be fair, we haven't done it. It's possible that cleaning chinchillas might be its own reward. <laughs> <laughs> when the chinchilla is clean, it smiles. <laughs> I like Sounds that. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it shows all it's, of its, it's teeth and like, its smile got, like, too, right? <laughs> smile. Like those weird uh, commercials of the Oh dogs. no, what you need to do is like, it needs to despawn and it needs to have an emitter that you know, puts up some smiley face particles. <laughs> yeah. But you know what was happening when it died? When it despawned. When it despawned, not died. It did die. It was cleaned. So it ceased existing in your special... Uh, when chinchillas are clean, they... It's been scrubbed from this world. So. They give off a dust cloud. They're, they go in reverse <coughs> from other things. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We can uh, take maybe, this philosophically here, huh? They were okay. like Batman. They just disappear into the dust cloud. Ninjas. Ninja much? Like, we go back to dust, but they come from dust. No, when, when people are dirty, they got the, 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 the dust clouds. <laughs> no, they got stink lines. <laughs> they the stink lines. Mm. Oh, you want to give them stink lines? That's so, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm thinking of pig pen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's definitely more dusty than stink. Yeah, he's got the dust. If he were a chinchilla, he'd be clean. <laughs> he'd be happy. 
I think he's happy anyway. Oh, you think he's happy being dirty? Yeah. He's pretty cool with it. I don't think anybody else minds. Maybe he just his family can't afford baths. I don't know. I I remember seeing uh, footage of him. He was like, um, where like I think they were talking about it was actually the space a space station or something. They were doing something and they were demonstrating. Oh, he takes a shower in in the space station and then he goes out. And, and like and then suddenly he just attracts all the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Some kids are just cruddy. <laughs> that happens. It's no you, you get you clean them and then they're just cruddy. I'm I'm not gonna mention anybody by name. But <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just a kid. Yeah. They don't bathe as much as yeah. older folks. True enough. <laughs> But then there's some kids who just, no matter how many times you clean the face, it's like, yeah. dirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. I don't think that front's on here anymore. <laughs> Looks like the, uh, the monolith there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2001. Uh, let's go to edit blueprint. This is full of chinchillas. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Uh, can I actor? Child actor? What? Yeah, just do a child actor. <laughs> child actor. Okay. We probably won't be able to put it to work as much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be important roles about making sure they years. get schooling. Yeah. And <laughs> That's, we got to find twins like they did with the old <laughs> yeah, There you go. <laughs> child is in like. Or like parent, child. Yeah, how else would a child be a? I mean, I like coding. <laughs> Can't have parents in coding. It's so silly. <laughs> how do you raise a child in coding? I mean, just duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you start a child in coding. <laughs> Copy paste. <laughs> Make it its own parent one day. <laughs> uh, okay, we've gone with the wall bomb. Yeah, one point five pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much dust they use to clean themselves. <laughs> so, is that money? <laughs> Well, we use the money side, but <laughs> stands for pounds. I guess we could use the telephone pound sign, but I think most people would say like 1.5 hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? But what's the hashtag? There's nothing after it. <laughs> yeah, right? An empty hashtag? What? LB is not good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're look how much longer it would be with two more, two more letters than one more symbol. It's like pounds. Well, how much longer is the pound right? sign than the lowercase l? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't know. We're just, you know, thinking of memory space, perhaps trying to be efficient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, you know, he found it very quickly, so then we just didn't argue it. <laughs> <laughs> So what are, you, what are you adding to this thing now? See through balls? Trying to make a uh, collider so you can walk up to it and hit a button. And it'll dispense. Uh, press button, receive bacon. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you, you just press a button, you receive more uh, ammo dust bags. There's another thing that needs to go on that display is how much bullet you have. You might have to. We might be getting to the point where we have to do UI. Well, it was, it was realistic in real life. There's only bullets you got left. You don't have an ammo We're going for realism. We're going for realism. I'm concerned because okay. I don't want to get buried in chinchillas. Remember, we have to make this look like Donkey Kong Country 2. Really well, make sure you make all the renders easy to replace with new things, right? Well, you need to make it look like Tonka Construction, too. Why does it have to look like DK? That's one so of the suggestions. Because that's one of the suggestions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. 
Go, we just make it 2D then, right? And then we've done it? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just 2D random. Uh, let me think. Hmm. Oh, that needs to be turned around. I kind of feared this would happen. <laughs> I really like their uh, their their tools. Really nice. You can like see the exact uh, measurement. Well, really I don't excited. know what to tell you. You achieved creating chinchillas. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Beautiful volcano. That would explain the rocks. So did that work? You got more ammo then? No. no. Uh, well, I was just making sure like this they, is working. Isn't that volcanic ash? They take the well, some of them so. do. Yeah, that's one of the options, I think. You're right. Yeah, pre-rendered 3D sprites is when we need Donkey Kong. <laughs> I mean, that should be easy with chinchillas, right? I don't know. <laughs> we, just, we just take a Google image search and then we pixelate it. It's Think like of rats and then the Donkey Kong, we just take, That's right. steal their sprite for it. Ah. We're already using a rat to represent the chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> Of an incredibly utilitarian point of view. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes full circle. Just import all the Donkey Kong's assets into the game. Yeah. I'm just gonna end up. Hey, look at our original Donkey game Kong we made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Unreal Four. Yeah. No, like we years. haven't actually talked about the global game jam games that we made. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. So I'll start. Um, I. I guess helped out on a project called Cosmo. Um, I say helped out because uh, I was actually not joking when I said, "Hey, I made a, a Construct Two lesson." <laughs> that what I, I literally had to do that in the middle of the game jam, on top of organizing it, on top of letting people know this is how you pitch a game, on top of okay, I'm going way too far. So, anyways, there was just a <laughs> lot of things I had to do during the Global Game Jam. So, what little I could add in, I helped out on. Like, the fact that I just copied and pasted my usual Unity template project, and that created some beautiful menus where everyone's like, Wow, this game is really polished! And I'm like, all I did was just copy and paste. But anyways, so that happened. Uh, that menu was pretty snazzy, like, it actually has translations and options. Uh, it had way too many options, many of which did absolutely nothing, but still, <laughs> <laughs> still it had options. That's what matters. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was a game about <clears throat> a space bee trying to connect the satellites. Um, we have no instructions on how you play the game, how to play the game. So uh, I hope you figure it out. We have exactly one level. Uh, yeah. Um, once you figure out how to do it, most people has figured out, uh, has beaten the game within a minute. So, uh... Diversifier. Yeah, so the challenge <laughs> is just figuring out how to play the game. Hmm. I found one of the uh, biggest things that makes a game jam game uh, last better is if you go into it from the mindset of making something that has some procedurality to it. Because something that you know, has like a a longer tail to it tends to uh, bless, be a little easier to work around. Like, you know, because if you're making a game where you have to make the levels too, that's you know a lot more work than if you're just designing systems to interact with. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of disagree. Trying to make a literal procedural game and trying to make level-based games. The only reason why I tend to disagree is because when you end up doing procedural games, you also end up. Uh, uh, spending a significant amount of time writing the level editor itself and that is honestly a lot more complicated than just making levels alone where it's like at mm. least you have a consistent set of uh, set of steps to get to where you need to go <clears throat> um, 
to put it another way, like with real, so I mean, I'm sure depending on who you are, making procedural games is easier for you. I found it to be not the case. In fact, quite the opposite. Um, in the sense that it's easier for me to think from a game perspective of here are the mechanics I need to add in. I'll add in those mechanics first, and once I've confirmed that works, then I can make levels. Whereas when you're doing a procedural generated stuff, uh, you're thinking like the, the bubble itself is a mechanic. So you end up making both the level and the um, mechanics all at the same time, and it becomes very tough to balance those two. I didn't mean to yeah. shut you down. <laughs> no, I mean you that's interesting. Just, yeah. yeah, it's an interesting question where you go from there. I, 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 what game did started, you make, Greg? <laughs> well, when I first was doing the hobby game stuff, I thought the procedure was the way to go, procedural stuff. The uh, more I dug into it, the more complicated actually they, they are. Because uh, you have to account for a lot of edge cases and also, like you're saying, the mechanics. Right, if you guys doing more things, your avatar, then you got a lot more things you got to worry about during the whole procedural part. But um, <clears throat> rather than just putting the pieces in there. But yeah, from a player, I guess if you're, I don't know, is it more interesting for the player? Procedural games than games that actually were human design. It depends design. on the player. Yeah, like, it depends on the game, I think too. I think you can make an interesting game in either way, or you can make a probably could make a boring procedurally generated game too. <laughs> well, I mean, well, if we go to the extreme example, we could think of No Man's Sky, right? <laughs> Isn't that a procedurally generated game? Yeah. Well, people were disappointed in it, but it looks kind of fun when uh, John was playing it. Yeah, they've done a lot of updates since then, I think. But yeah, well, that mm -hmm. would be like one take, and then what would be other extreme where everything is purposely crafted and placed. One of the more narrative games, like The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those be extremes. Yeah. So which one of those two would be easier for a game jam? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably depends on your skill skill set. If you yeah. already know how to do a generate, a, a, you know, relatively simple procedural generation, then it's probably not as big a deal for you. But it, you know. Carefully crafting something, also it gets it takes a while to just line everything up exactly the right way. So either way, you, you could end up um, yeah. taking time. Um, Dude, there's actually a procedural uh, there's prop jam right if now. you ever want to do a procedurally generated uh, game jam. <laughs> just, Interesting. Yeah, and they they accept all different kinds. That's actually um, I did a not I mean it's not like you know procedurally generated environment, but a procedurally generated game that generates planets and planetary conditions, which is, you know, which I submitted to that. Wow, that is a long tutorial. <laughs> just literally need to know how to like do basic like interaction. Yeah, because so you see what I mean when I say about the tutorials online are pretty garbage for a lot of these game engines, <clears throat> for, for newbies. They're like this. <laughs> yeah, this is also pretty, like I can immediately see it's like pretty outdated. Just because, like, the UI is. Mm. You find these problems with a lot of really technical topics. Like, mm -hmm. somebody will go into a ridiculous amount of detail in their tutorial on things that are, like, really mundane and obvious to you, and then they'll be like, you know, they'll skip over all of the parts that you actually are trying to figure out, and you only get, like, one line devoted to that. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's really hard to know what other people know, and, like, what things people don't know so that you tell them those things instead of the things they don't they already you know, figured out yeah I guess it's also yeah, in a way it's like well, procedural learning but teaching <laughs> is hard <laughs> generalized teaching is hard specific teaching is a little bit easier because like you know, when you're doing something one on one with someone it's much easier to like figure out what they don't understand and focus on that if you're trying to make a tutorial to put on the internet how do you know what people don't know some people might, you know, know something already. I mean, some people you know, know several you things. Don't you just got to make a choice of who you're writing it for and go, and then hope someone else will take the audience that you're missing and make their own thing for it. We need uh, 
you need to bring programming paradigms into teaching, you need to have like a fail fast like teaching. So like you need to like try a teaching style and if it doesn't work and like the next day you do a completely different teaching style. <laughs> A-B testing, have half your students learn one way and half your students the other way and at the end of the semester you see who passes and who fails. Oh, people would complain about that. <laughs> Anytime you have any kind of uh, human interactions or, or services that you're like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna test which one works better. People mm -hmm. start getting really antsy about that. Yeah, but they only <laughs> only if they figure it out. No, the best thing will be the two <laughs> classes like being completely disjointed on their opinions of the class. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. Create a new Boolean variable called door is usable. This is. Yeah. It could also be funny if if they if two people had very similar opinions, but they were had different experience, mm -hmm. actual teaching style, they were getting different teaching styles, which, you know, it's quite possible with, there's so many different kinds of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think doors are actually pretty hard in the real. Doors? Doors. <laughs> Trying to think of an Unreal game that uses doors. That's not a like a semi cutscene. Well, well doors from a camera perspective is difficult doors anyways. In, uh, what you call it? Um, what sliding doors are popular? Unreal games with doors. What about Skyrim? Skyrim? I don't know if Skyrim, 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 Skyrim is a game for you. I actually have not played Skyrim. This Friday the thirteenth with the doors there, I mean they are kind of doors, but you go into a forced animation frame, so it's not like a real door. Like it's not like yeah. a door that actually s it once you do it it's locked to like the animation, right? It's like one of these they call mini cutscenes. What's a, oh, what's okay. a door? Hmm. What kind of door is hard to do? What is a door? But a you miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> like a real secret. Believe it or not, doors are actually right kind thing? of difficult from uh, two very specific perspectives. One, when you're trying to go inside a house, uh, most of the time, like you don't want anything that's inside a house to be rendered because there's a lot of details that you can add in there. And so, for performance reasons, you normally take it out entirely on purpose. Uh, second, if you do, uh, at, so then when you open the door, you need to suddenly load all those assets in. Or once you get close to a house, in other words, then you start loading the assets in kind of procedurally. So that's how I think a lot of systems do it. Uh, there's also the fact that uh, the camera placement when it comes to when you're inside a house becomes very difficult to work with. Because what do you do? Do you like? Do you have the camera just sitting out there out of the house while your character walks in and just stays there while you, you can't see what the <laughs> heck is going on? Do you teleport the camera inside the house? Usually cuts are pretty bad when you're uh, doing it, in this, uh, doing it in scene, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of reasons why that would be difficult. Um, another like uh, other examples I can think of where doors will be very difficult is like say what happens if an object is behind the door will you let the door open will you let the animation what happens mm. when you do that will it push away the object would it uh, cause the door to open would the door just clip through uh, the object mm. uh, so on and so forth if you have like moving animations with people walking in and out of houses that gets even more difficult uh, let's see um, other things I can think of like there, there's, there's, I mean, you can you can see that just by including the concept of houses that you can walk into via a door, mm -hmm. it's not the door specifically that makes it difficult. It's just that part of it it makes it very difficult. There's also the fact that I think a lot of games uh, they slow down the controls deliberately when you're inside a house. Uh, that's because you want to make sure you have fidelity being in uh, being able to control your character within the house because if you're just uh, in a normal outside game world where you're running all around in a very tight space, uh, you're about to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so they do that, yeah. they add that uh, fidelity in on purpose for experience reasons. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of... Doors are hard. Doors <laughs> are so shockingly hard to put together. I mean, going back to your Skyrim, right? They just do the loading doors for you, know, when you open it. Mm -hmm. What do we need a lot of games right actually do that. 
I think Legend of Zelda mm-hmm. Breath of the Wild is the only right one now. where when you try to open the door, door, door I'm just like trying first to off you have to press the A button to open the okay. door. So that that's mm-hmm. already telling that they're doing something. But on the, on top of that, like uh, that is some dense. It will just load. Yeah. It will just load the in- interior of the house automatically. So um, that's probably the only one where I've seen where um, it will force the character to play an animation, but it's very brief and like it doesn't look like the camera stuttered or anything. It clearly places it in front of the door so that you're not like. You don't have the situation of the camera's just stuck outside and it doesn't know what to do while your character's walking in, kind of scenario. Right. Um, and then, like walking out of the house is incredible. It just works. So, but then again, I think the way the camera works in that sense is it just clips through the wall. So. Just kind of ignores it. Yeah, yeah it just kind of ignores it. Yeah. Do you know I've heard a lot of praise for that game, but. The way the camera is incredible when you open a door to leave a room is not one I've heard before. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very specific detail that you've noticed, and I'm sure if I the actually, designer who spent all that time on it knew that you were saying that, he'd be so happy. I actually really hate the camera on Breath of the Wild, believe it or not. That and, and now you've just too, dashed her yeah. Yeah, I was like, snap. That you heard a snap. Oh man, yeah. somebody really appreciated all the work I put in. Somebody fall? Not about saying anything. It sounded like it was in this area, which is really weird. So with that in mind, doors being difficult, how do games usually get around that, right? They have the loading screen door, starting all the way from the resume. Oh, you just do the Xenoblade Chronicles method, which is that when a person approaches a door, they just disappear. (laughs) Not even the door opens. Metroid Prime did a good thing. Oh, there's that one too. Oh, Oh, Metroid Prime did also a fantastic uh, job with uh, doors. Skyrim, actually. Skyrim oh, falls awesome. through that. Mm-hmm. There's a classic fire. thing with, uh, yeah. well, I think Doom and Mirrors, and where they didn't have this technology to actually display like your, like, view of it. So they just made a mirrored room, that. which you could not enter. That's the, way, right, that's right. the way a lot of games do it. Yeah. There's actually a second render. The grand majority of the games actually, for Mirrors, mm-hmm. actually duplicate everything. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's really easy to do. Uh, what else is there? Uh, doors, doors, doors. Yeah, man. So, does that answer your question what a door is there, Anthony? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> a, a little bit in perspective. It puts it in uh, context. <laughs> it is quite fascinating, such a simple concept, quote unquote simple. Right. So complicated. What do you mean by door? <laughs> Minecraft has doors that work. Of course. Oh, that's true. There. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do like Metroid Prime's implementation of doors, which is they are a literal loading screen. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. to be able to open that door, like you have to shoot it first, which is incredible because if you see a door, uh, because it's an FPS game, um, you're already shooting it at a, from a distance, right? So mm-hmm. it's like already you're just walking toward, you're laying it low because you're just walking towards a door and it triggers. So I thought that was a really clever way of doing that. Now granted, time, if you're like standing right next to the door, then it'll just, the door will just kind of glow a little bit. <laughs> and you're just waiting there, you're like, what's happening? And suddenly the door opens, it's like, oh, oh, it finally loaded, okay, I got it. <laughs> uh, to be fair, shooting the doors is uh, something taken from the original Metroid games. It's not no, like a solution course. they came up to in a 3D game to solve a problem. It's just like something they inherited. I guess fully utilized. But I, I think that I I think that even if it was coincidental that that worked out, I thought it was a very clever solution nonetheless. And I do not think it was coincidental. I do think that they just kind of tried it, and they're like, "Oh wait, this actually works from a technical level as well." I'm sure. Hey, speaking about Unreal, so can you program Unreal in like not block mode, or is like yes, this, you can. Is, is, is this your lock? C plus plus. I, and C so Sharp so nowadays is supported too. Uh, not Nate. You still have to download a um, library or something. Touche. <laughs> it's not. I I don't know if that's like ever going to be officially supported or not. I think it's something they've. I mean, I think it's the same thing how Unity's been trying to like do a system like this for years. Um, like I think it is possible. I think like someone made like a third party thing, or the person working on it released like what they had. Uh, working on it for Unreal officially. But, um, but yeah, they use C++ and it is pretty much like this, but 
It, it's basically like instead of um, tight, instead of like wiring things together, you would just be looking for the methods and functions and just typing it all out, and <coughs> it would be a lot uh, less cool. visually. It's, I don't know. Basically, you'd be typing out wiring stuff together instead of actually. Uh, yeah, it looked like my time sure. lapses. I was just curious. <laughs> my time lapses is just a text editor showing up and a lot of blinking, and then suddenly you see the level, and then it's over, and you're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> there was a game that was made out of this. Oh yes, there was a beautiful game that was made out of this. You just didn't see. It. You just didn't see the beauty behind my text editor. There. That person's asking exactly the question you need the answer to. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my example. That's the answer. <laughs> so when I asked the question, and they said, "Look at my example." You know, uh, another I thing, I guess I just, I just. Oh. Yeah. Right. Go on Unity here, you'd be able to quickly find that, find the script to paste it over and then see if it works. But with this visual thing, you have to like, you have to like build all of that from yeah. the picture. Okay. It's not as easy I, to get help. I want that. Which I'm, I'm just going to throw it out one. there. Because I think that was one of their strengths, they're kind of saying that the visual and coding is easier or more intuitive, which I don't think as at it's, all the case. It's better for designers. I mean, the thing with like Unity versus Unreal is Unity's been around a lot more, and I'm sure like Unreal has been out for longer. Well, I mean, but like this version that's free for you know Googling like purposes. I mean, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, like the the community, the indie community around Unreal has been around for like only a few years, and Unity's been around for like. I'd, how long how old is Unity? It's like 10 years or something. Yeah, oh, let's know. find out <clears throat> about Unity. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it says at least 2011. He period. was already reading the about about Unity before the question even came up. <laughs> 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 Just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like uh, I think. Release notes. 211, huh? I feel like it's got to be older than that. What, seven years? How much old do you want him to be? Uh, let's see. I, I, I Unity. Believe, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> I can't believe that 2011 is seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> seven years ago. Unity uh, Wikipedia, which of course is unquestionably accurate. And if it's wrong, 12 it's years. Right. It has been released since, according to Wikipedia again, uh, June 8, 2005. Mm -hmm. What? Well, that's different than they're about. Why is there a description? Well, no, because that said the the um, the version of Mono that they had was mm. 2011. So at least 2011 was where my judgment came in. Do they still use Mono Develop, or did they? No, they took that. They took or, that. Yeah, they <coughs> said they were going to ops, uh, mark that as obsolete. Mm. Which. I think is for the better because they should not be focusing on making a text editor. As I had to use, um, I'm trying to remember, jeez. I, I, when I was like used, first using uh, Unity, like Mono Develop uh, was all you really could use. I think it took them a while before like Visual Studio was even a thing in there, but it was painful to use that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's I'm like, like I don't know. this world. It's it's not it was not like the worst text editor, but it was like very. It was very slow. It was yeah, it was super slow. It was not as fast. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff wrong with it. I don't think I think the IntelliSense is a lot worse than that. I mean, also I don't know. Like in the Visual Studio's uh, error checking has gotten a lot better. I don't know what I am doing. <laughs> That's kind of all I got to say right now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. I think. Well, you still have a full hour left. Yeah, that's what I was, I'm thinking about. Like, what can I? So we have the spawner working. We we got like a we got a couple things. Didn't move as fast as it did last time, but I think 
we have a few ideas in mind. Mm -hmm. I think since we have this spawner working, I'm going to actually try and make that more uh, uh, pretty that up. So the spawning part, or which yeah. part pretty up? Um, well, I think I think making them so like they're not just like falling and more like actually acting like a meteor would act, oh. like like directional. Uh, mm. Uh, but we maybe make the uh, Bionicle be our character that way we're incorporating, and it's not just standing in the middle of the thing. And you'll never okay. ever know. <laughs> it'll just be like a weird stuff arm. Unless you put a mirror in there, yeah, but then true. it'll just be That's a copy true. of the Bionicle. Actually, <laughs> hmm. I think, you know, actually good. I was going to think like uh, I don't know if the Bionicle is going to survive till the end because I don't know what happens if we upload this with a Bionicle in it. <laughs> um, I'll leave it in. I'll leave it in for now. We'll deal with that. Have it like an Easter egg or something, like on the yeah. level or something. <laughs> That'll probably be fine. Um, so I am thinking. If you find this key on this level, you can sue us for licensing. <laughs> 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 oh, it's an Easter egg for all the uh, copyright hunters. <laughs> They're not gonna be looking for that stuff. <laughs> all right. Make a game. I'm gonna put all my passwords in a game hidden. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's basically what Ready Player One is. What, what is? Uh, Ready Player One. Yeah, movie coming out. Is it a movie? Yeah. Is uh, it out already? No, nah, it was a book. Then the movie's coming out in like March. Wow. Essentially, billionaire dies, leaves his uh, fortune to whoever finds the last Easter egg in his last game. Hmm. Okay, that's a uh, nice take on the treasure hunting thing where, you know, billionaire finds all his money and he buries it somewhere in a bunch of. Crazy people look for it for another 50 years. That's basically the story. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice digital take on that. It's also VR, so they actually like build a world around it, I guess. It's a good book. I think you could watch it with Oculus on with VR on? Uh, essentially, it's a world where they like, perfected VR in such that oh. the way they explain this, they draw the picture on your retina. So you there's no feel a vision problem. I guess, because your eye doesn't feel. I guess you wouldn't feel that. Mm. Seems like it might be an issue. No, you just wear gloves with half the feedback. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Well, I guess it's an easy way to film then, right? You just explain perfect VR and then you just film in real life. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, our track when Wesley got hooked on that. Uh, the the, the uh, the game. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just like lights dancing around. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like bead right on his eye or something. Yeah, it's just like a Google Glass Pfizer. Mm -hmm. It was like it was like a nonsense <laughs> game. Like nothing. It was yeah. like a, uh, nothing was happening in it. But like in the in the episode, people would put on the glasses and be like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they yeah. just like start smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever seen the old uh, what Law and Order episodes where they're talking about the Second Life? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean, that's what I guess VR has got to look like to people on the outside uh, that aren't in VR. Just someone puts glasses on and they start smiling, mm. and just random lights get shot at their eyes. Are you looking at how to already put it on aisle? No, I was, I was looking. I'm looking for something that probably will get us marked for <laughs> copyright. You can play a so, with millions of other characters. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk that. Do you, do you just hate me? Is that what you're doing here? What? Nothing. <laughs> I'll show it to you after the stream. <laughs> it's there. I don't. I don't want to get our uh, video flagged for. <laughs> Star Trek drop copyright. Um, that's what it, it is from that episode. That's what made me think of it because it, it, someone just took like Agario, which was like that weird circles mm -hmm. merging game, and and just uh, edited that over the game that everyone was playing. <laughs> which is, it was like <laughs> it, it works. It works so well. <laughs> I remember when, I think that was like my senior year of college, like everyone got into that for like six months, and then it got like cloned like a six million times. You can actually look up IO games, you'll find so many different things. Yeah. <laughs> I think Slither IO, like the snake version, is like the one I, I that's the one I remember. 
for right now. But uh, um, there's deep.io. Uh, I feel like there's one called DIEP.io. Yeah. Um, so you just want to go forward really fast? Well, I'm trying to get it so like uh, it just changes the rotation. So ba basically my idea is um, this object will just find a random point on this plane and then uh, orient the chinchilla to like yeah. right to that plane. Mm. So I'm trying to think of like what's the most, uh, what's the easiest way of doing that. Which ray casting probably would work better in Unity. Um, yeah. Which I mean, if, if for those who don't know ray casting, it's basically um, you have like you have two point. Well, you have like one point, and you just cast a uh, I don't know. I guess basically like a line out and. If it like collides with something, then it, you're able to like get data back from the point where it collided, um, which it's useful in a lot of areas. Uh, and a, a lot of others, it makes things like super slow and ineffective because basically you're sending out like a million like data points that are supposed to retrieve like you know a collection of data. So it could get like pretty expensive to use them a bunch. But Unity uses them pretty well. Unreal, I have no idea. Um, there's a lot of games I use uh, ray casting. I guess they call it ray trace here. Hmm. Well, it's I guess it's one way. Uh, what about something on the floor that I guess it's the same thing, just shoots up to the sphere. But I guess it's a similar thing. Yeah. Well, the, the reason I was thinking this way is because then I don't need to make like a second component to yeah. the object. So like I could just place it in there and. You know, we also wouldn't have to worry about like you know objects in the way or something. It would just uh, you know take that. Um, but we'll see. Actually, uh, why don't we say random? It's just a random. Plane. <laughs> I guess it's a sh yeah. I guess it's Because you want it to have angles, so it comes down too, right? And it just comes straight yeah. down. Mm. Oh wait. Uh. Wait. If I look at rotation. <laughs> Detective Munch. What? Huh? Detective Munch from uh, one of the Law and Order series. This made me think of Detective Munch. Yeah. I think he started a homicide, which was before Law and Order. Huh. He played the same character for yeah. years and years and years. No Thomas, I like Thomas, I. One order doesn't end. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, when no has <laughs> when has law law and order <clears throat> in real life actually end? Mm-hmm. I'm sure Patrick will tell us. Mm-hmm. When? When does when real life? Over? Whenever the police retire, I Wait, guess. What? When is the law when is and when? order, the real life version, ever end? When's it done? It ended a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> we, we, we've been in a, you know, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs me lecturing. Anyway. Is this going to be about the uh, post legal society? Yes, yes, oh, it sorry. is. Sorry. <laughs> oh, did that just move itself? Okay, I guess that's one way. It just moved used along. to marathon law and order on TV or whatever, and then oh. I realized that I feel very badly. Yeah. That's kind of shooting me. I feel Thank bad it's after weird. watching this. It's, it's oh, yeah. shooting them in different places. Very negative yeah. stuff. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do now is just... So I'm as just a test case, I'm just trying to get them to aim right at the player and sh- and just meteorite right into the player. Um, oh, so that was supposed to aim at the player. Yeah. So mm-hmm. right now it's, aim- it's just rotating towards the player. It's not actually aiming down in like a meteorite fashion. <laughs> So, so it's rotating and then still just falling with like no uh, impulse, basic physics. Whoops, cancel. I don't want to delete everything. Do you now? Oh, I hate I hate the delete everything button and all these <laughs> engines. Why do they keep putting them in? <laughs> Does it delete everything in Unity? Games on the X Files. What's in the X Files? De- Detective Munch, wasn't he? Was he? I didn't. I didn't watch the X Files. I think so. Mm-hmm. I feel like the two main characters were Scully and Mulder. Yeah, mm-hmm. not that much. He's not. I didn't mean he was the main character. He just he appeared. Was a guest star. Huh. He was maybe one of the bad guys. Playing the same character. No, no. It was not the actor. Detective Munch. Not the ex- but but a different actor was playing him. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that? Why would they get a different actor? Uh, you said the detective Munch. Munch, the character was on there, which then leads me to believe the actor was different. <laughs> the same actor has played him for all those years. Eventually, they make And him. then the X file says, "I want Detective Munch, but I don't want the actor that plays him." <laughs> well, he's been agree. playing him for twenty hmm. years. Yeah, hopefully he becomes like chief munch at some point. I think he stopped playing the character. Oh. No more detective munch. Sorry. Well, when he becomes chief munch, he doesn't exist as detective munch anymore, right? Mm. So he could have became chief munch uh, and still not munch. been detective munch. He was in. The actor was in another show. <laughs> <laughs> he played. He played a teacher. And he had like a name, he had the name tag on his desk and it said D. Munch. <laughs> so he's the same sure. <laughs> character on that show, too. I was just, who put that there? Him or just yeah. some. But set Detective's guy? not his first name. It's his title. Yeah. Way he he w- as a teacher, he wouldn't put his title. He might not have been a teacher. No. It was a nice Easter egg in his callback. He Hello, I'm Doctor Detective Janitor Munch. <laughs> <laughs> He's very, probably very proud of his profession. And sure. Why wouldn't he put Detective Munch on his name? Yeah. Doesn't he have a real name? Munch. <laughs> Wasn't that a joke from Archer that uh, Krieger's first legal name is Doctor? <laughs> Who's uh, the mean? mad scientist? They're just there's a mad yeah. scientist character whose first name is Doctor. Well, he's also a clone, too, so... He's also a clone. <laughs> oh. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, oh, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> if he's a clone, then he doesn't really have any names. He doesn't, he's, not, he's not a person. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yeah. So, his name is kind of like, whatever. <laughs> that is a, an extreme position to take. I'm sorry, you're a clone. You are not a person. <laughs> I don't think it's extreme at all since that reality doesn't exist. It's a it's just a position. So I mean, you don't know book. if that will be extreme or be normal. I was reading a good book. It was set in a sci-fi future type setting that was kind of talking about that type of stuff. You mean like Blade Runner? No, it was a... Well, Blade Runner is about machines, right? They are. No. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't AI. Yeah. Huh? 
Weren't they? No. That was called a uh, uh, Wayfair. They were supposed to be machines. Like uh, the lead character oh. as a detective was supposed to be a machine. But um, John Munch. <laughs> That does not start with a D. I wish his name started with a D. His name's Dean Munch. Oh, yeah, I thought because the whole the Tears in the Rain thing, Replicates. right? That doesn't make sense. Tears in the Rain doesn't make sense if he's a clone. Ne- Nephron was actually uh, uh, has chimed in about Munch. Munch is a conspiracy theory guy that links X Files to Law and Order by crossover. He ended up as a sergeant on Law and Order SVU. I know this because friend was a big friend. Oh, big yeah, friend. I'm sure it was a big friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she doesn't watch that kind of stuff. She doesn't have time. She's a, a grad student. <laughs> so that's all the time she has is watching these things. She's watching them. No, she. she <laughs> I'm sure her friend. Well, tell your friend thanks. I'm sure your friend <laughs> has a lot of other useful knowledge as well. Oh my gosh. No, she doesn't even have a TV. At least I don't think she has a TV. You don't need a TV so. nowadays, you just need a computer. True enough. I don't know, is SVU and Law and Order and all that on online now? Somewhere. One of those Probably. Services. Probably. Well, Probably they might not be reputable one. sources, so I won't rock. comment on that anymore. <laughs> I think it was 30 Rock that he was doing oh. punch. That makes oh, sense. Really? <laughs> They're Rock is like the type of show that do that. Mm-hmm. Kill Rog. <laughs> All right. So this is the code just to make it go f- straight. This is the code to make it fly towards the player, theoretically. Okay. Uh, it was Arrested Development. Oh. That he was, I think he was Dean Munch. He what? was in The Wire as well. What episode was he in Arrested Development? I feel like I watched um, a lot of those. I don't remember seeing them. Unless maybe it's just a quick cameo. Unbreakable Kenny Schmidt. Hmm. Oh. He was a Muppet. Okay. <laughs> on Sesame Street. Oh, of course that's. War and Order Special Letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, feel they're shooting towards the player. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like they're not going. They're not going straight down anymore. Like piling up, right? They seem to be spreading out. How are we region? forgetting the most fundamental and important aspect of the game? You need to be able it? to co- hug these chinchillas. He was, <laughs> he, was yeah. he was mentioned. He was mentioned on Luther, but never made an appearance. Luther. Yeah, I don't know what Luther is. That's a. I think uh, it's a drama no. from the UK. It yeah, was it was a UK oh, drama. Yes. The start of uh, Idris Elba. He has watched. Idris Elba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it. It's been on my list. Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Nephron Hunter binge watches Netflix. I told you. Also plugs uh, Netflix Daredevil. That's a, I, I enjoyed that show. Yeah. Daredevil's and, good. Yeah, Daredevil is good. I know the X Files thing because TV tropes. I introduced her to that site. TV tropes is, is amazing if you want to waste time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I know you get and, some fun yeah. tropes. Like there's one that's uh, what uh, title sounds bad is good. Oh, okay. Or that's something good one. better, better phrase than that. But oh, that's that's why, yeah. Oh, that's on TV tropes. It's a yeah. Here? Okay. Actually, probably poor title, good show. Poor title, good show. That sounds, yeah. Yeah, some some shows do not have good titles. You would never know they were any good. <laughs> yes. Oh, she blames me for her time on TV tropes. Uh, I am proud of the time that she has spent there. <laughs> I, have, I have given her something to waste her time with. <laughs> What's a sister? What, you know, what's a, an older sister for? But to uh, like make your life difficult. <laughs> I guess so. Introducing you to TV show website and dragging you up a hill. <laughs> exactly. A sibling. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sibling objective is complete. Yep. Yep. And we're the siblings who get along. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best, anyway. What the? Hmm. No, nothing. There's nothing on your 
seen there. Uh, yeah, exactly. What have you been working on for so long? Three red boxes? Come on. Well, we're going to find out what happens. It's kind of different now. Kind of. Like, like, it's definitely a... Uh, it's not <laughs> straight down anymore. Yeah. I don't think they're falling fast, faster than the gravity's pulling them. Yeah, like Marsh was in Spider-Man Deadpool number six. Oh really? Wait. The, I don't know if he was the character. It says an artwork version okay, of Munch appears in 2016 comic book Spider-Man Deadpool. Oh, number graphic six. novel. Hmm. That makes sense that people would do that. I mean. I don't know if that means <laughs> Spider-Man and Deadpool were looking at a portrait of Detective Munch, an art show. <laughs> or, <laughs> or detective crossover uh, characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool, and, Deadpool and Spider-Man are admiring a portrait of Detective Munch. <laughs> in Deadpool Spider-Man number six. Single tier. Huh. Is, is there a game in there? You, you're, you're like. Um, you're a snobby art critic in an art gallery, you just go around judging the art pieces? Yeah, Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool inspired me. It would be kind of like a procedural, uh, where, you, what would be like that, a conversation choices? Wasn't things? that Bubsy 3D? <laughs> no, it was uh, Bubsy Visits, the Jane Marcel's, what's it, the Arcane Kids one? I don't know, I just, I just vaguely heard of Bubsy in an art gallery. Yeah, something. that's that's uh it's not the new Bubsy three D that came out, which okay. is, is a new one that came out? I mean there's a new one that came out where the people seem to be very enthusiastic about it but seem to still have the same technical Oh you're talking about uh, the one that's made from uh, the <laughs> same developers as Gianni Sisters. I guess. Yes. Gianni uh, the, the not the original Gianni Sisters, mind you. The re uh, the, the new sequel to Gianni Sisters. They're al always <laughs> into making new sequels of incredibly obscure <laughs> franchises. <laughs> I mean, that, I guess that's one way of uh, that's one way of succeeding in the game industry, if you can call it that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at these physics wherever they are. Should I tell my boss that I copy code from Stack Overflow? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should get very familiar for it with that site. I probably figure out most of the issues. Like. <laughs> There's some number I of promise you the developers you work with are already now at quite well. I'm sure. I could like nah, I, I'm I'm sure. No. Nah. We probably shouldn't mention where I work for. <laughs> okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. Boom, 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 boom. Let's say. Hmm. Oh, I did it. <coughs> See that? Yeah, I did now that. it has two colors on it. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> you textured a puke? I'm Oh, you're this. using their new beta. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like beta. New beta particles. You should really be paying attention to uh, uh, John here and helping him out with the. Well, you see, I, I also have a lesson to write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta follow the chronicles of Detective John Munch. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Interesting how it just says error, doesn't let you plug anything into it, huh? It's got a long. <clears throat> It's a very long character arc. 
I mean, does his character still develop, or does it stop at some point? So actually, then you're making you put a shader on this thing. Tar, you put a shader. Is that the shader system? You're yes, this is a new shader. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's recorded. Uh, <laughs> so, one funny joke that uh, amongst my roommates is actually, it's just a funny joke amongst us programmers in general. The two different phases of programming I know, I am God, I understand everything, and. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then two subsets of that, my code is, is not working and I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, my code is working and I don't know why, right? Yeah. As my, as my roommate called it, um, I have just achieved a phase of I am God. Mm. I have achieved everything and I understand everything about this world now. So you're either like omnipotent, blind, or floundering. <laughs> <laughs> And is that a duelist you're playing? Or is it a game like duelist? I have no idea what duelist is. Which game are you playing? The Gundam game? Yeah. Oh, okay. A mobile game. Mobile suit. Why do you say that with such dissent? Mobile, mobile Gundam. <laughs> mobile, mobile, mobile suit Gundam. Mobile. Game. For mobile? <laughs> mobile suit Gundam portable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, God. Okay, that's what mm. the purpose of time is for. Comment. Just mobile square gun. Yeah, is, is it on your phone? No, it's on my tablet. Oh, on your tablet, okay. Because I was surprised I didn't see any games on. Of course, it wouldn't be a Steam game, would it? Did you ever play the uh, Dynasty Warriors? No. Is that never, uh, was that ever on PC or was that just. <gasps> What was it? Like P uh, PS3? Yes, maybe like a launch PS3 kind of thing. Yeah, I got it. It's pretty PS2. That was the most modern system we've ever had. Yeah. It was uh, from a long time ago. I, I want to say it was. I think they actually did more than one. How's everything going so far? Right. Uh, uh, Toro's in Gabo uh, now, so you can ask him anything. He's <laughs> 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 the happiest clam at the table since so <laughs> right, now. <laughs> right now. Things are. It'll solve all your problems. Spit out some equation Situ for you. Situation dire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna like wrap this up. A little. I don't know. I mean, we got like about 20 minutes left, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to uh, make a meteor object. Then go to Google or just make a sphere. Is this something that you want the player to be able to control? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to leave that open for now. I mean, I'm just going to take this the meteor rock and, and turn it to an object we can manipulate. Oh, Martian meteor. Oh, Martian rock. Not a meteor. Yeah. A Martian rock. I, it, it, oh. it, it's like the time of the night where like I can't spell meteor, but I can spell Martian. <laughs> so that's, that's why it's now Martian rock. Uh, alternatives could have been rock or comet, uh, asteroid perhaps, um, uh, no, space thing, comet. spacing, it's fragment of a planet. <laughs> yeah. Comet doesn't work because comets are ice. Sorry. I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay, you got me with the comment. That would that would totally not make sense within this game. Yes. That being this is very cold. Space projectile. And then I feel bad for the chinchillas. <laughs> they would have to be very, Fur. very cold. They are. They do look like they're frozen in place. <laughs> That's true. They are kind of very stiff, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So it's oh, so so it's, uh, there's no physics on them. <laughs> That would help significantly, I think. Uh, well, then they're not floating space rocks. Simulate physics. There we go. That will never be the same. So it does look like it is uh, uh, moving and spawning in relation to the player. 
It's, this is not giving them any thrust, huh? Yeah. It's fallen. I might look that up a fallen. little bit. Fallen. I guess this is something, I guess. <clears throat> it's got fallen rocks. Now see if you can shoot a rock <laughs> Yeah, the fallen in rocks is pretty cool. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is this is an interesting game. Hit the rocks out of here. Okay, we'll have. Uh, it's kind of a subset of uh, Rocket League, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta ammo. You gotta refill. And that's the thing I haven't implemented. <laughs> uh, actually, what I'll do. Okay. Is this going to be part of your lesson here, or is this for your own knowledge, Tara? No, for my own knowledge. Oh. It will be a lesson eventually for 3D game orbit, game design orbit. Yeah. Because <sighs> that's still in beta right now, right? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> for those not understanding what the heck we're talking about, uh, we're talking about... <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're talking about um, a recent beta that Unity released. That's interesting. And uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of... Uh, I'm just playing around with it. Well, no one can see that. You know? yeah, they can only see what John sees. <laughs> I'll need to stand up and look at your screen. So, yeah, he just, oh, that's kind of cool. It looks like little Ami Boys, right? I guess maybe they don't animate. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. But, yeah, yeah no one else can see that. I guess they'll stop scrapping yeah. Let's look back at the uh, visual scripting language. That's a lot of things to plug in. Oh, an overlap sphere. Okay. So, I was attempting to make it so you had to actually go and interact with it. Now I'm just going to make it so if you go in that sphere, you just automatically will get, like, <laughs> some ammo. And we will figure that out later. <laughs> yeah, small uh, stuff, right? Maybe just, just get yeah. ammo until we hit about 10. Now we're not getting insane numbers. Yeah. Over. Well, I'm going to... So this, this uh, event is set to only trigger once. Okay. Um, so it'll trigger, like, every time we go in that sphere, but, mm -hmm. like, we won't be standing in there and get, like, huh. a million... Uh, it's like on and trigger enter only, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, because that's a normal blend. I was looking for a no just regular blend. That kind of explains everything. Nobody knows what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I mean... Nobody except Greg. <laughs> and I only know half of what you're talking about. Actor class. Delete. Nope, I don't want the action button. Nice. Yeah, because there's really no copy paste way to do that. I think Unreal should kind of work on that. Yeah. Well, this is what I was kind of saying. It's like you have to keep track of how to access your your very. I mean, because because last time I was kind of talking about how, <laughs> you know, you can't have like a single reference somewhere. To like an object and like have every object in your scene access it, you have to like re set up the access like every time, which I don't know. Uh. yeah, it's it's. I mean, this is I mean, this is also like in how blueprints do things. So if you were actually coding, like it would not be as uh, nonsensical. Um, Unreal. Uh, um, Being an overlap. <clears throat> sure. Yes. <laughs> sure, a cool theme song. He did. Did you ever hear Andrew WK's version of it? Are you kidding me? No, he I did haven't. a whole 
album of Gundam music. <laughs> I'm gonna be outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys have fun. <laughs> Immediately. What have you done? <laughs> I thought you'd know. No, no, he doesn't listen to stuff like that. He'll know about like the series and stuff, but yeah. not necessarily. And he knows a bit about games that. Hmm. that I'm not games, too big into Gundam, but somehow I came across Andrew WK doing. Gundam music, <laughs> and I thought that was very cool. Yeah, he, he is in blind spots, which is one of the reasons I'm able to get him presents that he doesn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> does he like full out make the models, or does he just like watch the show? He, he, he has the models, yeah. He has a whole set of models. Models or dolls? Hmm? With the M? <laughs> Are they called models or dolls? Well, he doesn't What's cuddle them, so I guess they're models. They're all posed on a shelf. Is that it? So you have to be able to cuddle with them to call them dolls? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Then there's figures. <laughs> yeah. figures, too. He, he built, but dolls they don't build, though. Sculpted plastic. They, they, these are very carefully built. The teams. models are kind of sharp and angular. <laughs> 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 so it has to do with the geometric shapes. <laughs> That's the only thing. Yeah, they're not even really comfortable to hold. No, no. Much less no, cuddle they're, with. They're, 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 po they're posed on a shelf. They're like trophy dolls. Exactly. Well, kind of, I guess. But you don't normally build a doll. So what? I, mean, I don't know many David people. is a giant doll? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I guess I'm just asking you what's these, the difference is. Trying to I guess. figure them out. A giant doll, huh? Is it because it's made out of stone? What if it was made out of like norm, normal okay. doll material? Like, what is um, a doll made out of plastic? What's the definition of a doll? Yeah. That's yeah, kind of what we're going here. So if it was a big plastic thing, it would be considered a doll? I don't know. Is that the I'm only thing that matters? You. Is the material? Okay. You, I, I, I would have called like, doll uh, personally. Mm. I'm so, not seeing the screen right now. Is that? I think if you. What's his stretch arm? I think it would be this. kind of insulting if you hmm. called David a <laughs> doll. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been like that. It hasn't been very long, but. Okay. I don't know why that happened at all. <laughs> like so, it just happened that. I just noticed. Yeah, I just few minutes ago, I guess. Well, we can get rid of David by saying a doll is mass produced, mm -hmm. and that still also goes to figures right. and models. Those are also mass dolls. produced, and David's is not. But well, models also something that something is based off of. So you have to generally assemble models. You don't yeah, assemble yeah. dolls generally. Yeah. So is that the assembly thing? So Legos or um, models? Yeah, you play. No, those are yeah. sets. Other well, sets, yeah. But when you assemble them. They become but a model. Can, but th yeah. there are multiple use. <laughs> oh, so so once you bring creativity to it, they just don't know how to bend it. We've only got one way to assemble them. Well, yeah, they'll, they'll have some options. Sometimes you'll have a, a choice between two different options, but you kind of have to choose when you're doing it. I guess more labels are more free, huh? Yeah, but those wouldn't be considered dolls or models. No, I mean, or figures. Well, we go back to it. They're pointy. You can't. Did you know the <laughs> that makes them more like uh, Legos, more like models than right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know the plural for Lego is Lego? <laughs> no. Yeah. They they make a very big stink about it. I choose yeah. to disregard. Lego, my friend. Oh, I choose to disregard that. Yeah. 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 Did, what is that? You know? um, isn't that like some of those waffles? That all the letters in Legos. 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 Yeah. <laughs> all of the letters in Lego are capitalized as well. Mm. Does that mean they stand for something? Is it Did an acronym? Did you know the, the Legos from the 70s nope. and 80s are actually toxic now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they That's just, they really, toxic now? They're, they're, they're toxic. I don't know if they were toxic back then, but they, just they, but they might break, break down a bit and yeah. be toxic. For kids to play with, because you would not want. I've got like bromine and arsenic and. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I got a lot of my uh, toxic yeah, brain things taken when I was a kid because apparently the red paint had lead in it. <laughs> oh yeah, I think there's lead in them too. Depending, oh. I think it depends on the color. Just don't eat them. I got right? some old. Well, with kids though, you know, they'll stick them in their mouths. <laughs> yeah, some old Lego. Uh, it's kind of old. No, I don't know if they're that old though. Well, 
Just don't lick them, probably. Just give them a little bit of a taste <laughs> test. <to it. laughs> Lion in my, I got an old toy box full of old stuff. It's probably yeah. it's cooking up a stew with them. Yeah, <laughs> you probably just don't want to lick them. What happens to the stew? Uh -oh. They just I cut was, off? I was, I was going to say, I think I'm... I mean, we're we're like ten minutes away. Okay. Fair. So. You're done. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Done. Okay. Yeah, the tacos like it came out. Like no one told him. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. so, so I don't know. Uh, I think that's still went fine. I mean, yeah. we didn't make as much progress as last time, but I mean, we're figuring things out, and maybe I'll be more better prepared. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember more how to use Unreal <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the spawner is functioning. And yeah, and we got a new projectile. It's not going straight down. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we got a few little things happening. Um, so I think, so next week I think will be uh, Global Game Jam games. Um, and then, so I mean with this, with the build a game series, I'm thinking like just every other week. Um, and probably for this one, it'll be like six streams of it before we like switch developers and engines, or, or I guess developers really, like someone wants to do, so, someone wants to try Unreal after <laughs> <laughs> seeing, yeah, I don't think. seeing 18 hours or whatever. I, I offered to do uh, Construct 2 then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, or Renpy. <laughs> Those are my engines right there. <laughs> so I think I think like probably like three or four more streams of me doing this so we could get something semi functional before we move on. Um, mm -hmm. but I mean I think I think this has been working out pretty well. Uh, just need to like figure out a little bit more of the engine. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, like I said, uh, next week is lesson night next week? Uh, no, no, lesson night with that. Wednesday, for, there's a blender thing on Wednesday. Well, for, no, for, next, next Wednesday is a talk, right? Yes, it's just IGDA. a talk. IGDA. Yeah. Oh, oh, I need storytelling. That's what you're talking about. Are calling it Ica now? I like that. Ica. I call it IGDA. <laughs> What's the talk going to be in? Uh, uh, storytelling. Creative storytelling in games via non uh, audio or dialogue based methods. That'd be cool. So that's that's over at IGDA's channel, I believe, which mm -hmm. I think we all host anyway. So if you're following us, follow them too. Mm -hmm. Also, but um, but yeah. So then that's that stream, and then Friday will be Global Game Jam, and after that, more build the game. And well, are we um, ever gonna play Icy? Yeah, I was thinking about that. <laughs> I need to figure that out. It's so I mean, maybe maybe two weeks from now it's icy and then because icy is like short. Yeah, we already played it during. Well, we played it during uh, extra life, but that stream has currently been lost to the void of YouTube <laughs> servers. So we'll see if. <laughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, like I uh, if we could play it at some point, I will try to figure out a way we can play it this month. But because I don't like uh, not streaming the game club game, at least one stream of the game club game. Um, oh, is that normal? You, so before the game club meeting, you have a, a stream of the game. Uh, we usually like there's been one or two times uh, it hasn't worked out. Um, like I mean, you sometimes it's like uh, we'll stream it like the day after we record it. So I mean, also the podcast don't get posted for like months afterwards. So. Um, <laughs> So it doesn't matter to those who are only following along at home that much. Um, okay. But I like I like doing it beforehand because then it gives people a chance to like just watch a stream of ours or come to the stream and play it instead of mm -hmm. finding time to play video games. Because we're all adults be with so busy lives. Yeah. So <laughs> busy. We can't play games. <clears throat> we have to make games work for us. <laughs> 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 That's the only way we can play them. But anyway. <laughs> So I meandered. So yeah, next week at the very least, Global Game Jam, and then maybe IC, and then also mm -hmm. IGDA Talk. So mm -hmm. thanks everyone who stopped by, um, and we will see you later. Next time. Yeah. Next time. Good night. Right. Thanks for fun. joining us. Thank you. <laughs>